Hey, ho, a V, a final back for Final Fantasy XIV, and we will be playing through more of the Dawn Trail story, of course. <sighs> Last time around, we already did our like fifth, fifth proof, I think. We have. Pedo Pedo, the birdies, the, mo the goblins, and we have two of the giants, one for like the giants themselves and one for fighting the bird, which is, yeah, despite one of like the keystones got stolen from us, but we did at least go through five of like the, the trials we were supposed to go through. So at least that's something. So, actually just two more to go. And we, at least from like our level standing, we are not even halfway through the story yet, so. Curious what's to come. Let's well, everyone. We can meet back here later on. I've smart and to run the city, so I'll leave you to recover. Alright. We'll be heading to the palace, Wuglama. Wuglama, did you hear me? That's the only world, it seems. Well, no matter. I'll be back soon enough. <coughs> An attendant is standing by to unlock your cap and enjoy your stay. Whoop. Let's relax after our, like, taxing drive, I guess. You know the bird fight wasn't that hard either. At least from, like, a gameplay perspective. So far, I'm not sure, still not sure why people say Dawn Trader is hard, because so far, it has been alright. From like a gameplay perspective and difficulty. Welcome back, Mr. Kagnatsuna. Your cabin is just as you left it. Minus a uh, light layer of dust. <laughs> Have you been gone for that long? And why did you clean, didn't you clean it? This is quite a sweet cabin, though. Quite nice. You have a moment? For you, always. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. What does Pokemon want? So, I, uh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're writing, Wuglamad. <laughs> it's just too stuffy in here, that's what. We should go outside. Aye, a nice walk in the fresh air. That's what we need. I mean, the cabin is half open, but okay. I don't know why that is the stuffy. <laughs> Also, I kind of want to climb us because I'm not really enjoying the look of the gear we have currently. Uh, it's all like the mountain stuff, right? Um, hmm. 
I mean, it's usually my Samurai Clan, but I kind of want to just use it right now. I'm a Samurai Scholar. <laughs> Sorry to take you away from your nice, comfortable cabin, but I could feel the walls closing in. Oh, I know. I'll take you to one of my favorite places in Tuliolo. That should help me get my force in order. We go to the resplendent grotto and make our way up from there. Alright. Also, if you should. They are. Wait, there's face wear now? This one is new. I didn't even notice that yet. Awesome. Uh, I'm just, 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 just real quick. I'm just gonna check my spell message tab. Ah, okay. Nothing interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually yeah, it's upstairs. I should have should have just teleported there, shouldn't I? Uh, 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 uh. I didn't expect for her to walk away that far. Oh lot. there's actually someone using the same glam as I. <laughs> Coincidences. I just switched through it and randomly there's just another person with the same one. Or at least they're using like the same uh, body piece. So where's the Lama T? Ah, there you are. Shiva, what are you doing up and about? Is your back feeling better? Uh, it's so much healed now, so don't make it fuss. Besides, I can't be launching in bed all day when you're out there fighting your hardest to win the throne. You're the claimant with the greatest love for peace. I love this nation of ours, and leading you, uh, lending you my support is the least I could do. When you see a smile like that, how can I not be encouraged? <laughs> oh, there's plenty more who believe in your cause. I can recruit a whole battalion of smiling faces if you think it will help. I think it would actually help for uh, Lamati to actually like see what she's fighting for. Just alone is more than enough. Thank you, Peshiwa. And thank you for the promise. I shall pray for your success in the contest. Out of smiling faces. There's another one right behind you. Ah, sorry, Tomo. I'm getting distracted. It's just that with the progress we've made in the contest, even these everyday encounters feel that, that much more special. Do you think we can take our time and maybe wander around a little first? Then we can head to the spot I was hanging out. This is much better. I used to come here all the time when I was little. I'd look out over the whole city. 
Whatever worries I had would seem so small. Do you remember what I said at the top of War Corps Zormor? That I would fight to preserve Papa's peaceful Tural? Mm hmm. Of course we remember that. Well, I've been thinking a lot since then about what peace really means. If it's just the absence of war. Nope. That's not all to it. And it brought not to all mind there is to it. All the best parts of our journey so far. We literally just saw that. We don't need a flashback for that. <laughs> I realize nothing gives me greater joy than the happiness of others. Life has its ups and downs, but the company of family and friends and the music of their laughter is what makes it worth living. And as silly as it might sound, come to believe that those smiling faces are the best measure of peace. Mm. So the thing is... Uh, mm, yeah, that's the sort of thing I would expect to say. I don't want to give a damper about ideals. Not the fitting time and place for it. Really? I feel proud somehow. It's an answer I arrived at by trying to be true to myself. That you think I succeeded. It means a lot. So, this is my plan. When I become Dawn Servant, I'll build on Papa's peace. Our people will live together in happiness. <laughs> Sweet. It's just like Kryle said. By taking the time to hear their concerns, understand their feelings, and consider how best to serve, with each passing day, I'll be that much closer to becoming the leader I want to be. That's good to hear. It's hard for me to say how much I've changed since the contest began. But there's one thing I can say with confidence. I wouldn't have come this far without you as allies. If it wasn't for you all listening and feeling and thinking along with me, I would have never learned so much, and in so short a time. I get how they like always keep doing like a, l l a slight little reference to to hide and officer here, feel, think. <laughs> Again, it's like literally in built into the sentence once more. There are two keystones left. After everything that's happened, and imagining what could happen. Are you still willing to walk this path with me? Of course, we're, uh, we're not even half right. I'm through with this path, after all. <laughs> Thank the gods for that. Well, I have nothing else to get off my chest. I need to head to the palace, but I'll see you back at the cabins. If you form to the Yola, that's really pretty, not gonna lie. Especially from like up there from the palace.
I see this Kremlin is not updated yet with graphics. Sadly, but hey, it will come in time. So, ready for the next step, I would say. <laughs> Look to be in good spirits. I assume your leisure time was well spent. I was glad to snatch some quarterly sleep myself. After all, I will soon be back to the road for us. I actually stopped right in front of like one of like the uh yeah one of this like story chapters you could say the leap to yaktel all right i'm sure the others will be along shortly i do hope everyone has rested well Now that we refreshed ourselves somewhat, let us consider all the claimants as they currently stand. Zoralja and Koana have completed every feat thus far and hold five keystones apiece. Buklama would be equal with them, but for Bukol, Jaja's fury, which has left us one short. That conniving bragger didn't so much as lift a finger for the feat of proof and wrecked Herak for the feat of ice. We can't have. Uh, more than three keystones at most. You may think he can simply steal what he needs to win, but he's sorely mistaken. I will be taking back what is mine. This, I swear. I fear that reclaiming your keystone may not be enough. That is, if Buko, uh, Bako Shadra unleashing of Valigamanda is any indication. Using his lead, I anticipate that he will move to obtain the remaining keystones before disrupting his attempt, his rival's attempts. We may all find ourselves being forced to take from one another. I can't say I'd be comfortable with that. But neither will I surrender my claim to the throne so easily. If it's for the sake of preserving the happiness of my people, I'll do what I must. The last two keystones we will carry are those of the Lay of the Past and the Lay of the Brotherhood. The former depicts the cessation of hostilities between the Mamoja and the Jubal in the forest of Yaktel, Speci uh, specifically near a village called uh, Ikbrat. I'm guessing this is how it's all pronounced. I'm just like going out of like feeling here for like pronunciation. That's where I was born, if you recall. I haven't been back there since Papa took me in when I was a baby. Where the day of Prado takes place, however, is unclear. In Isaga, it is said that a foreign explorer came seeking an audience with the Dancer, but a little more than that. He also has a similar tale. The explorer Katanram befriended the two-headed king, known as the Artak, before commencing his travels across the realm. He journeyed here several times after afterwards, but was ultimately lost at sea. At least, that is the commonly held belief. A two-headed king certainly sounds like Papa, so his catamaran follower must have come to Toliana. But if he indeed arrived some 80 years ago, the capital may not have been built yet. 
vestiges of uh, Yokui architecture notwithstanding. Wait, you said Autark, didn't you? Then Catamaran must have met the Dawn Serenity in Mamook. Mamook? Is that a city? One of the Coranders in Turel. Once upon a time, and the seed of the Mamu Dra's homeland. A two lies in Yaktel, not far from Ibraj. When all things considered, Yaktel seems to the obvious choice for our next destination. For me, the safest method of travel is by the ritual. We should make for the landing once our preparations are complete. Are we riding one of Korana's balloons? They can't be any worse than the ships, can they? Um, I think if you already have like a tendency to suffer from disease sickness, balloons may also have the effect on you, to be honest. I'm not sure about it, though. What is this weird, rend like... Lighting on the steps there. <laughs> that looked interesting. Yeah. The steps have like a, a minor issue when it comes to like shadows on lighting, <laughs> which makes them like look so like flickery. These look like interesting hot air balloons, not gonna lie. The next flight to Yaktel will be leaving shortly. Passenger asked to keep hands, legs, and luggage inside the ritual at all times. Are you sure that thing will stay in the air? All the way to Yaktel? I mean, well, people I keep using constantly, so I would not be that scared of it, to be honest. Are you ready? Bex packed and uh, uh, goodbye set? It's not going back once we lift off. Not that I'm nervous or anything, I'm just making sure that you are not nervous. <laughs> sure, Lamati, sure. Who oh, am I kidding? My knees won't stop shaking. Hey, will you hold my hand? Just until I've set up my nerves. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're the nicest person I've ever met, Tom. I'll try not to crush your hand. There she is, for promise. Wait just a moment. Oh, my blue. My blue and Toppy. Of course, of course. I wait as long as you need. Sorry to delay you, but we are able to discover the origin of Cryer's earring. Is that so? You said before that it gained popularity in Yorktural as a protective world for travelers, correct? That's right. We tracked down the elderly merchant whom first sales are attrib attributed. According to him, the design imitates an accessory worn by a foreign maid she met at a market some 20 years ago. They didn't they know that charming taste of salt would prove to be a commercial triumph. 
A fallen mage wearing this earring could only be my grandfather. But uh, did the merchant happen to mention which market? One in Yachter. To rare it seems you are already bound. What luck. Then I shall see my next crew once we arrive. It is me coincident what brought my grandfather here there or... I did another discovery to look forward to. True, true. Thank you both for coming out this way. Anything for the third promise. Good luck with the rest of the ride. Uh, thanks, I won't let you down. I've just got to board this dirigible and uh, I mean, it's good to stay. Let's call for passengers to Yachtel. I really hope she wins. Yakta will test her medal without a doubt. The next townswoman must be willing to bear the full rate of this nation's history, no matter how heavy it may be. Ooh. The fierce chaparral hunters who laid claim to this land call it the Azure Forest. Yachtel. This area looks nice. Battered by meteors in ancient times and colored mesmerizing shades of blue and green by nature, it is easy to understand why the place is so named. I do like, like, glowing forests at night. Where the Shepral and Mamulja once battled for dominance, that the right of succession would reach its climax. It reminds me of, like, that one bit in, like, Cinebreak Chronicles, where Rockford has, like, forests of, like, the blue glowing trees, which looks really pretty at night. <sighs> <laughs> Are you all right? I've never been good with heights. The vegetation is far denser than in Cozumelka. I suggest you pay more attention to the ground, unless you want to walk straight into a cenote. What's a cenote? A cenote? Okay. I'm not the only one asking, good. Sinkholes filled with rain and groundwater. Many meteors fell here long ago, it is said. And after they struck the earth, it became susceptible to erosion. Deep as some of the pits are, you'll not climb out in a hurry should you take a tumble. So, don't take a tumble. <laughs> of course he's looking at Lava Tea here. And I'm gonna call it Amity, just like a lot more than Buklama. It was one time. Is the Shabral community depicted in the Lay of Repast close by? Aye. We need but follow the path a short way west. Right. I can't stand here with my knees knocking forever. Let's get going. And usually it's quick to pick herself up. <laughs> for like the um for like the trouble she's having with like traveling with all these different means, she's at least quick to pick herself up and just go along with it anyway. The figure vegetation comes reduced visibility. Advise her to keep someone inside at all times. They say and all then disappear into like the air. But okay, thanks game. <laughs> hmm. No collection there. 
Southwest. Okay, so to our destination. It actually should be like right on this path somewhere. Ah. The other one would be to the north. Okay. They're building enough fate. All right. Let's side along the side with it, just to give me like some for fate points. Got a gold ranking, perfect. Actually, like do these. There is like a uh, shared fate system here, which gives you like um, later on rewards if you like clear fates and like uh, like the gold. With, like a golden evaluation. And we've already like see fates being better out and cleared quickly uh, while we go along here. It's just the easy thing for me to also like jump in and get like that one point for free, you could say. But as you can tell, I haven't like been up to date when it comes to shared fate stuff. I have a few where I'm like rank two in, but none where I'm like rank three, which is like the highest rank. There's actually like a bit of catching up to do with uh, the shared fate stuff. Good, everyone's accounted for. Big brush is up ahead. Let's be on our way. Ah, there is like a fate train going on. As it looks like. Yeah, looking for crew up on yeah, okay, this is like a fate train going on here. Or hunt trade. Uh, no, yeah, not fate train, hunt trade hunt train.
I'm not gonna follow along because first I can't fly, second I'm not like <laughs> not level 100 yet. Alright, I was not exaggerating about the sendouts. It would be a cruelling ordeal to climb out of one. Well, thankfully you made it here without incident. Let's not delay any longer. Yep. Um check out the Dark Mahogony Wagon. For Dark Mahogony, this book is quite uh, like light color. I mean, it's a nice looking book. Nothing special, though. Ready to head on in. Our first task would be finding the Elector. Hopefully our relative tardiness will not reflect poorly upon us. The third problem is Enterrate in you, I presume. You presume right. I seek the Dawn Servant's Elector. Then come and join us in the Garden of the Stars. At the British Center. Everyone's waiting for you. Everyone? Who's everyone in this case? Yeah, who might that be? Just one more plane for to find out. Come on, let's follow. Ah, we already have to like the others here. First time we are the last ones to arrive. At last, we are graced by the presence of the third promise. If I'd known we'd be waiting on your mangy hide, I wouldn't have bothered with Eligarmanda in the first place. Self-serving piece of weaver dung! Do you have any idea how many could have been hurt? <clears throat> now that we are assembled, let us begin. I really find it interesting how like everyone just ignores that he just literally freed Vadi Commander who has been like a menace to this place like for decades, about like 80 years ago. It was literally called a calamity. My name is Hunmuruk. As a brass rash, I have the honor of serving as elector on behalf of my people. As all four claimants must be present for this feat, we have eagerly awaited your arrival. Third promise. If you would please join us. Finally, get some time to chill with Frank Red and Riondre. Thus far, you have faced each other as rivals. The feat of repast, however, will test your cooperation. You must complete this challenge in teams of two. Now and he will definitely work together with Kwana. This is, has already been said like, like this for like the entire time of the story. What? You expect us to work with one of these weaklings? Be warned. Only the triumphant team will receive keystones. I advise you to cooperate with your partner. 
teams will be decided by lots. Those who draw the same color will be paired accordingly. Why such a big ways for drawing four lots? I just hope Blumity and Karna come together. Well, forbid Wuklamat is paired with Bakul Jaja. After all he's put her through, I wouldn't blame her if she did something rash. I might even help. <laughs> True. Clements, please present your colors. I have read. <laughs> Blue. On separate teams, then. And the rest? Red. Which means... Together again. As fate would have it. Yep. As expected. <laughs> Victories as good as ours. With our claimants thus paired, so too is their opposition. Not the one head. So two brutes against uh, one really like intelligent boy, and the other is just really passionate. Girl was really passionate. I feel like I don't know which is the winning team. Like at least for me, it should be. For the trial that awaits you is as follows. Each team is to prepare a sample of traditional Chebrol cuisine. Shibruk Bibil. Okay. I didn't expect it to become a cooking contest, but okay. And now we must cook another ludicrous feat. So it might seem, but there's bound to be deeper meaning to it. Agreed. Given that the very future of our nation is at stake, all parts of this rite must have significance. Our promises have grown rather promising, wouldn't you say? Indeed. If I were to guess at the significance of the feat, few things reflect the history and development of a culture so clearly as its culinary traditions. The variety of stewed dishes in Galian cuisine bespeaks their agricultural roots and cold climes, true. That's great, too. The peoples we've met on our journey, they've all had different practices involving food and drink. What? The Hanu Hanu replenish their magical energies with reeds, while the Pelu Pelu have turned their fondness of beverages into a living. So basically, to know a people's cuisine is to know something of their ways. With each feat, we have deepened our familiarity with a given community's history and culture. Is this what Father intended for us all along? Of course, you can't rule as people if you you can't rule over the people if you don't even know the people. <laughs> which sadly is quite true, uh, which is sadly not true for like many countries lately, but hey. A leader with his vision must see that the past doesn't hold the answers we need. It is through embracing innovation, not adhering to tradition, that we will usher Tuli Yolal onto a more prosperous future. The rules are simple. The first team to prepare and partake of satisfactory Shibruk Bivir will be deemed victorious. You will be judged by your sample's taste and appearance, as well as your adherence to appropriate cooking techniques. 
Kitchens have been made available for your use. Note that you may be asked to retry should your dish fail to pass muster. Let the feat of repast begin. I'm all up for a cooking contest. <laughs> I do love cooking. I've never actually heard of Shibrook Bibio before. It's a light, no wonder. How fortunate that his fee Sudik's stipulations have frustrated Bakulja's attempt to delay us. Serves him right. That's what he gets for endangering my people with his schemes. Why doesn't he just compete fairly? He is plenty strong and obviously has a mind for strategy. Just a thought, maybe. I will never understand him. Putting aside our competition for the moment, allow me to express how glad I am for the opportunity to work together. As I see it, our team possesses a distinct advantage. Yeah, of course I do. Any team I'm on is bound to succeed. Precisely. <laughs> I don't think that's what was getting at, but I... You mean we have an advantage in numbers, yes? Uh, competition has a team of six. The two claimants, Savalja and Bagujaja, Lakis. Aries are a team of nine. There's three more people we can mobilize. With the car suitably delegated, it should be a brisk affair to learn the recipe and assemble necessary ingredients. Too easy. Well, you mustn't be overconfident. Unless we take a careless mistake, it could have been easily avoided. Our first sort of business should be determining the recipe of Shiprook Pipi. We can hardly gather ingredients for a dish we know nothing about. Given the nature of this feat, asking for answers directly may prove less effective than simply observing the daily habits of the Shibra people. Let's gather you once we've seen the what clues this village has to offer. All right. Also, I'm gonna do one thing real quick. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. Just had to like close up my window more because the sun is shining so brightly outside today. That it really made like seeing stuff on my screen, especially the dark stuff, uh, a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> and since my windows are closed anyway, because it's just so hot outside today, that it just would like heat up my room even more if I would my window so I'm just like ah oh, no no need for sunlight no need for fresh air I guess I don't want to suffer more than I already do from the heat hmm. 
Okay, this one we can talk to. The recipe for Jibru Pibir. I wish I could tell you, friend. This sort of shit is meant to be shared. Unless we are forbidden from divulging anything. Oh, that's from Norman Brook himself. But you're mentioning it has given me a fierce craving. I hope it is the Ibrook to be at head at a market. Wink. Okay. Well, uh, not allowed to tell us anything, but still gave us a hint at least. We do need Ibrook. Whatever Ibrook is. But I'm guessing it may be an animal? We are to cut our losses and head to Mamuk. This feat is nothing but a fool's errand. You're the fool if you think he won't tan our hides for leather if we dare to return without enough keystones. Besides, we've taken from the house's cat before. How difficult could the second time be? Ooh, what are you looking at, salt liquor? Mind your own business. Okay, Babu Jodra probably will uh, intend to attack us again. Sadly. Uh, no. I wanted to talk to you. Thank you. You break an end up here. It just like. Blue and pink glowing bananas? I like this. A newly colored banana peel has been neatly arranged on a crown which appears to be smoking. Oh no, the bees have gone and dropped my Najul, I mean, uh, Jatika banana. Uh, Jatika banana peel. You could barely see it for, uh, for all the steam issuing from my underground oven. Uh, it's nothing I like enjoying a taste of banana while you use the leaves in your cooking. Well, those were obviously quite some blatant hints, but eh? So I need to find like one more hint though. Question where is it? Never spices seem entirely unfamiliar to you, unless held in a basket. The one's called a uh, Ashiote. We must use it to add a bit of color to uh, our most popular cuisine, but its medicinal benefits are significant as well. Hmm. I've already got like, uh, quite a good few hints out of this. Sorry, sorry, I'm back. How did you guys cover about Shibu Pipi? True to your prediction, the villagers were forbidden from educating us uh, directly. However, many were still preparing it as one of my staple dish. An observation of the technique yielded close enough. A lady blending local herbs and spices was only too happy to describe the ones I didn't recognize, while neither confirming nor denying any relation to Shibu Pipi. But one in particular she had read it to all common Chibra dishes. Achialda, she called it. 
I see that Nishi Brew Baby is indeed a dish as uh, ubiquitous as Arbino claims. We have confirmed our first ingredient. We know that the uh, co uh, cook brewing bun is uh, wrapped in a leaf of najul or banana in certain localities. It would seem the use of subterranean ovens is commonplace. I saw the same. I think we all know what's inside those bonnets then, don't you? Brook. As what I expected of a dish called Jibrook Pipir, indeed. To summarize, this dish is one of Ebrook, flavored with a combination of spices that includes ashiote and steamed on the ground with inajul or banana leaves. If our assumptions are correct, you must now learn where and how to procure our ingredients. As a staple cuisine, its ingredients should would be close at hand, which is why Fangred and I scouted the surrounding forest while you are exploring the village. Between the locals, wicked tradition and wild brook, we should have everything we need in regards to meat and spices. <laughs> Leave it to the master cleaner. With that, we should next to re-up our task. With some gather ingredients, other should make ready to the kitchen. I can uh, prepare the kitchen. Permit me to assist as well. Our ovens will doubtlessly require firewood and I have some experience in scattering. I too should be glad to volunteer my aid. Then the rest of us will gather ingredients. I can make quick work of the spices and herbs myself. I may be truly lead someone to rescue the break group if they will perform the requ requisite deed, honestly. As for the Najul leaves, I believe I'm capable of acquiring that much on my own. Be warned, you won't find Najul in these parts. They only grow in the Jatika Halfland forest, far below these. Hmm, such a cousin may be time consuming. Perhaps we ought to try bartering first. This feed encourages our communication with the locals, after all. Lamati, Tamamo, if you would accompany on my rounds. Sure. No better way to written my appetite. But let us be about our tasks then. That is already seems to be going nicely. Come on, let us go, go and get us natural leaves. The sooner we do, the sooner we can eat. Let me actually check out the uh, thing we get from the covers. I mean, it's not that bad. Like the long skirts with like with like the feathers and like a bit more wildlife aesthetic. I guess it's nice. Don't don't like the top as much. No. Oh. I think I will stick with our uh, with the clam we have currently, which I can't put on right now, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, then... perfect. Let's see if there's no jewelries to be had in town. Perhaps the Coco and G mentioned might be persuaded to spare us a few. Let's see... You also seen that cook. But especially like the glowing banana up here he left behind. Again, did you need something? I 
Azure leaves for purpose other than Jibu prepare naturally. I unfortunately just used up my last. We have to travel to the lower forest for more. Gomoshi Groove is the source of the finest Azure leaves you will find. White variants you sometimes see in the city markets can't compare. I see. I devote such a, to wide such a lengthy venture, but if there's not a way to obtain our ingredient, then to the Jatika Heartland we should go. Allow me to save you the trip. Traveling there requires that you go through the team big traverse, but it has caved in due to the recent storm, I expect. What? But I think we can't get our Najul leaves. But we can, can't we? If there were no other way to for, of procure them, you would have suspended this feat or else ordered its objective. Perhaps. Anyway, I apologize for the interruption, but having overheard your conversation, I felt compelled to chime in. It's very kind of you. Any last minute advice you would be willing to share? Only do not take the feat of repairs with an empty stomach. You may find your brew appear to be delicious, but daunting dish to finish. <laughs> I can't wait. Still, if there's no leaf here and we can't travel for more, how are we supposed to gather all our ingredients? You see some men to demoralize any of the people and the cultures of Tolayola. So perhaps there's something about Jibro people that we have yet to learn. Something of significance other than its recipe or ingredients. Mm. Oh, I see. Like, who was the first to make it? It's history, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, if it's Yaktel's history you're interested in, you should start with the old war. Between the Shibra and the Mamunja, right? These walls have borne witnesses to centuries of warfare, the evidence of which remains a scar upon the earth. To know the end of the bloodshed is to know Shibru Pipir. <sighs> what does deemed Ibruk have to do with bloodshed? Besides the question we must answer, vexing those are to may see, I can think of no other way to approach this feat. In that case, you may wish to visit the site of the settlement ruined by the war, the village of Lyon Ash Ashaw. It lies a short distance to the east. The word of Ilion Astro understood. Thank you for your help. Come on, let's go and see this place. Uh -oh. Alright. Oh, let me check the evil compass. Southwest. This is a bit further than where we actually want to go, so uh, we will save that for later. The wish of Ilian Asho must be fairly easy. Just continue face. For all we know, our competitors may be on our heels. Oh, it's even further away. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm so used to, like, slight casting. <laughs> that I'm a bit hasty when sounding my mouth. I'm 
just wanna uh, cover this part of the map here. Thank you. Okay, this looks more like um, a raised village. So this is the village of Ilyanasho, or what's left of it. It was a place of, of light and life. My great-grandfather called it home, in fact. Wookie woo! I didn't you knew you were in Yachtel. I was picking up lumber from Eek Brush when I heard the footprints was on her way to the site of deep historical significance. I really saw another opportunity to be of service and so followed you here. Ogawu is the shipwright who came to our aid during the Feet of Reeds. A pleasure. Do you remember of the third promise right in you ever soon? <laughs> Thank you, Fox Days, and welcome to the chat. Can you enjoy it? For the moment, I suppose I am. My name is Connor. Please don't make your acquaintance. He's not gonna say that he's the second promise. Really? Connor, no, that's a good name. A familiar name. Where have I heard? Connor is in the second promise of Turiola. To think that I dressed the dawn servant's own son is like some common retainer. Such a suspect cannot be excused. Please take up your gun and... Come on, come on, not this again. I take no offense, so please do not trial on it. Alright then, I shan't trial on it. How do you always like, keep bringing up his character, girl? Come on. And why don't you? At least he's consistent. <laughs> true though, true though. Instead, you wish to learn about Jibrook Pipir, why I'm forbidden by the Jibra Raj uh, to divulge any information regarding his preparation. I'd be happy to share what I know of the Yaktel's history. I'd appreciate that. In its most basic sense, the conflict between the Shibral and Mamoja was one of land. The Mamoja lived in the lower forest, where the thick canopy obscures the sun and the soil is unforgiving to crops. This drove them to cover the upper forest, the home of the Shibra, and they launched a, determin a determined campaign to seize it for themselves. It encountered above Haver's higher ground, and Shibra forces held the upper hand against the invaders, rebuffing them time and time again. But as the state of this village would attest, the tide eventually turned, what brought it about. Something you know all too well. Blessed siblings. You may understand, the Mamuja were once a people as much at war with themselves as they were with others. The Hobigo, Bonema, and Dobro each saw towards their dominance over the other, even as they engaged the Shubral in battle. In an effort to strengthen bonds and discourage infighting, Hobigo and Bonema leaders arranged a marriage between their children. However, this particular measure, although the course of history in race no one could have ever imagined. It was long believed that partners of different clans could not have children together. But then it happened. A child arrived to share the blood of Hobigo and Bonava both, a two-headed Momoja. Blessed with tremendous physical strength and magical prowess, he grew into a mighty warrior before eventually erasing as the first altar ruler of all three clans. Those qualities would dispose any to leadership, character and understanding. That the Autarch's rule, the newly united Mamoja, became a force to be feared, and the war soon came to a head. I think it's best to see the results firsthand. Let us visit another battlefield from the time, and there shall continue the tale. All right. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, okay, this already looks like a better ground. I didn't seem to have recovered from what happened to you. This is where most battles were fought between the Shabral and Mamulja, the Shobrit Cinderfield. Ooh, it's voiced. Nice. A field of cinders, indeed. How fierce their clashes must have been. The war over these lands began after the Yorkwee's departure some 500 years ago. And for four centuries thereafter, the two enemies repaid violence with violence. A constant stream of minor skirmishes punctuated by massive slaughter. Until father ended their endless conflict 80 years ago. Accompanied by a retinue of only six, the Dawn Servant opposed both armies and brought the fighting to a standstill. That's quite a defeat. First they sealed Bali Armanda at full strength, and now this. It was during this armistice that both sides gathered for negotiations at the Dawn Servant's behest. Following following the echoes kicking in. Interesting. For too long, you have been bound by your ancestors' violent legacy. It is past time you broke free of it. Tell that to the scale skull! We fight to protect what is rightfully ours. If not for their greed, we'd be living in peace. Buff your tails and scurry off, then. Cowards like you ill deserve the bounty of this forest. Even should one of you succeed in vanquishing the other, your triumph will last only until a new invader arrives. Tell me, do you know of the vast continent that lies far to the east, where numerous nations vie for dominance? You do not. And why should you? Affairs beyond the salt we have no intention to cross are of no consequence to us. Not until those affairs come to Tural, like our honored visitor here. Hmm. He's from across the ocean. So I'm guessing this will be Kellenran. I've been to the ocean before, and it's nothing but water farther than the eye can see. What sort of vessel could possibly reach its end? That such technology exists is indisputable, as is foreign powers awareness of Tural. If any such country were to develop a taste for Tural soil and bring to bear the might of innovations we can only imagine, what do you suppose happens then? You do not know the warlords of the East. But you know that if they came, they would not settle for a single forest. By joining hands, we might create a unified front. An alliance capable of repelling them or any other foe. 
So he united them by actually gave by giving them like another fear. I mean, I guess it works for this scenario, but it's also kind of weird. By like imposing on them a potential danger and fear. Which might not even be there. Or which he himself from would not even want by already befriending one of those. Or could be like a cause for this potential danger or fear and trouble and just like already trying to work against that happening. <laughs> but okay. There is no greater proof of these than my companions and I. Alone we are weak, but together we triumphed over Valigarmanda. I'm guessing this is also Aaron Will's mother over here, Diviarma. What? You defeated the Sky Ruin? I'd take you for a liar if the sting of our own defeat wasn't still fresh. Their coordination was indeed impressive. How the Pelu Pelu stymied our efforts to cripple the Yokui's legs and defend our ballistas. And when we withdrew to strike again from a distance, the Hanu Hanu called the winds to make our arrows miss their marks. In seeking to exploit their weaknesses, we only subjected ourselves to their strengths. Wait, was that totally? Don't tell me like all of like the uh, the elders who give us the keystones are actually like past companions of him and still are like alive still after these 80 years. Those strengths are born of cooperation. The guiding principle of the nation we envision. Well, I think it's also the younger version of our uh, current leader of the Jabral. We definitely have seen this Yokui before. And also this one. But our feud has lasted for centuries. How do you expect us to join hands now? Ha <laughs> ha! It was an evening to convince you. <laughs> I like the confidence. <sighs> and so began that legendary banquet. One would not expect sworn enemies to abruptly drink to each other's health. And, indeed, a tense silence hung over the venue. But then, the dawn servant called for the exchange of traditional cuisine. So it was that the Mamurja partook of spiced meat, and the Chevral steamed Najul. Before long, delight manifested upon the faces of those present, each side impressed by the other's dish. Seeing this, the dawn servant laughed and declared once more. Their flavors, he said, would be even better combined. And he proceeded to help them prepare the new creation. That's a brookie delight wager. <laughs> it is a marriage of Shabral and Mamulja cultures, and proof of their newfound cooperation. The dawn servant had asked for a single evening, but the feasting is said to have lasted three days and three nights. So delicious was their repast. That was quite a party. In the end. A peace accord was reached, and the Dawn Servant's words at that time still illuminate our way forward. 
Ignorance begets a strife. Understanding begets fellowship. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just to think that he ended an age old conflict with food. It's all so absurd that somehow, so very papa, I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> True, though, it is kind of absurd. But it's not the only thing that was doing it. The food was just like a means to an end. Ignorance begets strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Now then, I trust you understand the significance of Shibruk Pibil and the history it has written. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the story with us. What's wrong? Someone was there, you say? Perhaps our competition is cooking up some scheme or another. <sighs> Something bitter and half-baked, no doubt. <laughs> Resonance actually caused our echo to be triggered. Probably someone who doesn't have ill attentions to us, at least. At least for now. Paria did live up to his words. He traveled the land and learned about our people's myriad cultures. And we are doing the same now. Indeed, we do. Up. I don't know, those pants are like... Nah... Uh... Give me back my clam. I can't do clam blades here because I'm not in a settlement. <laughs> okay. Boogie was given us valuable insights onto the origins of Shibro Papier. However, we're still not closer to procuring the necessary natural leaves, unless... Tell me, was that historic feast commemorated in some fashion, with a monument, for instance? Indeed, it was. Allow me to show you. Um, uh, good. There was one to like a bit of north. To the straight to the north. Okay, let's check where it is. Probably somewhere by the edge here. Yeah, right there. <laughs> okay, the one is so far away. I'm southwest. All right. This little bit of the part of the map we can also uncover. Come on. Go. Yeah, that looks like which like the nature is tr slowly trying to claim this area. At least there's some queen bits and pieces here and there. Ew. It's just like one of like. Just places where the meteorite struck. Ooh. Okay. 
Interesting. Okay, there's like a few more of these. Oh, an excellent sword. Interesting. Simple uh, yet interesting monument, I would say. Here it is. Ordered by the two factions, these weapons symbolize their vow that they would never again raise arms against each other. Since this feat demands a journey for history, I thought it only logical that a monument like this might steer us too, especially one at the heart of so, of so significant a battlefield. Navati, Tamabo, would I have searched this area for clues? Tell me if we catch the eye. Sure thing. Look here, the story has been recently overturned. Ooh, someone's pretty box. Well, well, would have been satisfied to find only him, but there they are. Fresh natural leaves. How more Rook's doing, Outrager? There's a poetry in hiding them on this battlefield, giving that it was central to the war they have learned. <laughs> so he planned all of this from the start. Thank you again, Bukibu. You wouldn't have found these leaves without the help. It was my honor to render assistance. And with apologies to our present company, allow me to offer my encouragement as well, Fruit Bombers. Ever since I witnessed your performance in the Feast of Reeds, I've been certain that you are the claimant most worthy of leading our nation. All devised solutions of, to the Hanu Hanu's ailing crops, but you alone sought to know the culture and revive Ihana, even if it seemed unrelated to your task. In my humble opinion, though, a case more for the people of Tuliola and what they hold dear. Should you again require the historical musings of an old shipwright, I'm ever at your service. For now, I take my leave. I cannot argue with that. We have what we need. Let us return to Igbrush. Well, even Karna has to acknowledge one of its weaknesses. Yes, yeah, this is actually return and fix my glam. And also, let me check the private messages. Or teleport. What can I do then? God. Uh, apply, please. Thank you. Now I'm happy again. <laughs> I'm glad we are successful. The other should be back soon, I expect. I hope so. I'm famished. Fair. You got another rolly, so Bukibu came along and helped us find them. Bukibu was here? I would like to say hello. 
Yes, we gave us an important history lesson. That Google Jaja brought an end to the century of warfare surprised me a little, but to achieve that peace for Cassine is something else entirely. Leave it to my old man to find the oddest of solutions, but how about the rest of you? Is our kitchen ready? I should be in order. Ryonji and made another tour of the village and brought the cooking utensils we need. With no mention of what we needed them for, of course. And I'm pleased to report that we are stocked with the finest firewood this forest had an offer. Spoken like a true expert. Well, well found our ebrook, so we should have um, meat a plenty. It was a spirited creature, so much so that its hunter fell down a senator trying to catch it. But part of never speak of this to anyone did you not understand. I picked a ground portion of local herbs with particular attention to the seeds that yield archiote. I'm told our resident astrologer and divine the appropriate measurements for the seasons in as well. I through for the inquiry that I determined the ideal balance of spices. Then all that remains is to prepare the dish itself. I presume that at least one among us is versed in the culinary arts. I can only cl uh, claim profound skill, but I've cooked for myself. You can leave the rest to me. And you, uh, you I hope, as I recall, you're an accomplished culinarian. Ooh, my wife is watering already. What for later then? And yeah, I think my culinary should be somewhere between level 80 and 90, so yeah. I'm guessing I count as an accomplished culinarian. Guess we're seeing what some of the Buku Judge are up to? Oh, or not? Just jump right to uh, delaying our dish. Good, there is still time. I shall prepare our sample at once. At first, I wasn't sure about being stuck with the one head. But better that than playing nanny to the mewling house cat. Be quiet, Bako Zaja. No one cares what you think. <laughs> Act tough all you like. Victory will be ours. Oh, well, it. I doubt that, to be honest. Though they do know the, the Mamuja side of the cuisine. Wait, where did I put my drink? Ah, there it is. Apologies for the wait. We submit to you our Shibrook Pibil. Tagos? Hmm? Why not? <gasps> this looks amazing! The dish is prepared by using the culinary techniques of the Mamulja to cook the spiced meats favored by the Jabral. It is a symbol of peace between their two peoples after centuries of war. Hmm. Both the ingredients and your methods appear to have been correct. Now then. <laughs> I 
it looks so smart in his hands. In taste, texture, and aroma, you have recreated Shebrook Bibil admirably. Granted, anyone might well achieve similar results by following the recipe to the letter. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, uh, follow, Alia. But you went a step further. You sought to learn the cultural significance of the dish, about Yoctel's history of violence and your father's role in ending it. Your willingness to take lessons from the past befits aspiring dawn servants. And for that, I commend you. All that remains is to partake of your creation. True understanding is gained only through experience. Now this is something I'm definitely good at. <laughs> Ahem, I believe we have yet to receive our assessment. Ours is also a faithful example of Shibruk Pibil, as you will no doubt agree. Hello, Dunga, what about you? And welcome to the chat. I see. While your effort looks the part, unlike the second and third promises dish, it lacks its defining aroma. <laughs> and howdy. P -p Preposterous! The meat was marinated in spice before being steamed in an earthen oven. This is Shibruk Pibil. Oh, and what about the Jatika banana leaf? I, I... It's because of you that we couldn't get any damn leaves! You can't fault us! But the second and third promises had no such difficulty, did they? That which they needed, they acquired simply by showing interest in our history and heritage. Ugh, it's just some crusty old leaf. What difference could it make? Your dish lacks an essential ingredient. As you have failed to demonstrate an adequate understanding of Shibruk Pibil, I must deem your performance unsatisfactory. Your team will not receive keystones. Yeah. But then, I hope you enjoy watching a lot. <laughs> <sighs> this was stupid anywhere. We might have an issue with our hands, maybe. His ambition only grows more intense. That someone could harbor such dark thoughts towards family. I'm guessing it's the echo that told her to cry. For this sum of a feat. I can always take what I need later. Experience in what it's way? Delicious. <laughs> Not actually quite sure what you're getting at. But it is in general, I guess, quite cool because I do play quite a lot of games. Have been and always will be. It looks so tender, it melts in your mouth, and the way the najul leaf rounds out these spices is sublime. But <laughs> that is uh, quite heavy, I guess. This is the taste of harmony. Someone who only knows brute force and deception could never appreciate it. I mean. 
If you are up for quite a long game with quite, with quite its own quirks, which can be... I don't want to say nuisance, but which can be quite tedious at times. If we can go... If we can get past that, definitely. Also, I have no uh, Discord link for the chat since I do not have a Discord server yet. If you want to see my stuff, you can get it through this. There you go. Choke on your harmony. I mean, if you want to do like, if you want to find like plenty of different kinds of experiences, Final Fantasy XIV is a good place for it to uh, at least uh, to try out and start and to look for. It has a really good story, and since it's also a multiplayer game, you have like a lot of opportunities to get into contact with other people and do enjoy some parts of these games together with them. Especially since there's quite a variety of content you can do together. Come, come. Finish your meal. That too is part of the feat. I mean, if you want to try really difficult raids, just look for, just look for uh, getting into the ultimate raids. Or the savage raids. They can be quite difficult. Though the ultimate raids are another step up. And I haven't, like, finished... I haven't finished uh, one of... Like neither of the ultimate raids. I did do some savage raiding, but I haven't finished any of the ultimate ones yet. You don't have to tell me twice. It is a long and big story. Ah, that was bliss. You've got real culinary talent. If you ever tire of adventuring, you can always be my personal chef. Do I give it that little warning? It has quite a slow start. It will take like some investment to fully get into the story. But that's also just like due to how like big this game has gotten over like the last 10 years it did it since it's running so yeah this to be expected it was palatable enough i suppose <laughs> what do you say it was palatable enough corner not appreciating a good meal to you who have successfully performed the feat of repast. I present these keystones. I mean, if you just want to, like, first have a look at the game and just try to see if it's something for you or not, you can play it for free with some minor limitations and only up to a certain, like, story cap. But you can try it out for free at least. And once you, like, decide for yourself, yeah, I want to continue more with it or... Maybe it's not for me after all. You can still decide to buy it later on. I think... What was the cost of the base game? Like, the cost of the base game is like... 30 euros. But you also, like, pay a monthly fee once you've bought it to actually play the game. But like checking out like the the, the the trial version of Final Fantasy XIV for the start is definitely a good option. And then you can just go from there and decide if you want to pay or not. Only one feet left.
Well, I should get going then. Mm. Yeah, since you have euros, you should have the same prices as me, so I'm it shouldn't be cheaper I... for you than this for me. Uh, wasn't paired with one of the others. I can definitely be glad for that, Corner. We can do better than that, surely. <laughs> The sixth keystone is ours. Thanks for all your help, everyone. <gasps> I forgot something important. Um, What's someone to yawn about? Is there any shipwreck people left? I could really use another helping. <laughs> of course, Lamadie. I do hope you enjoy it because I do love this game and I already have like, uh, wait, what was it? Was it this command? Ah, uh, it's unaway because I'm in a cutscene. Good, give me a moment. Ah, uh, that was so good. I'm already looking forward to having Shiburu Pepeel again. Yeah, Tamo Korea, with more using after the ingredients, you will love it. I think I'm going to buy more for the world myself. Now that the feet of the piece is over, the village should be free to offer it to us, right? I guess they are. New rest are now available from the Jibral merchant in each barrage. Nice. Uh, yeah. This is my playtime of this game. Like, 113 days. <laughs> <laughs> in like pure playtime. You should equate to like which is something you're like 2700 hours. And sure, go ahead. You can ask whatever you like. If I answer this, the other question though. <laughs> also, wait, what did we, did we get? Ah! Huh. Okay. Food for like. The whole thing. <laughs> Seeing as you now face the penultimate objective of the ride, it would be wise to travel to Mamukja, uh, Mogmuk and undertake the feat of the Brotherhood without delay. Wise yet. Uh, yes, but impossible. The Tinbeg Travers, which connected the upper forest to the Yaktiga heartland, is impossible. I live in Germany. So, not that far off from Italy, really. Is there a other route? I'm afraid not. Work to clear the path is on the way, though, so I'm hopeful we can resume our journey soon. Then let us each use this time as we see fit. I for one would like to explore this village surrounds, if I would oblige me with a two. Oh well, have no other engagements. Then I will come with you, only to prove that I'm capable of keeping my footing. Hmm. Though certain rituals in our delay does afford me an opportunity to look into my grandfather's purported visit to Yaktel. Oh, that's right. Marble did say something about a foreign mage coming through here decades back, didn't she? I'll come with you. Want to join us some more? Sure, mage hunting. Why not? <laughs> Let us make a win here after our respective diversions. It is quite nice. 
At our color merchants met my grandfather at a market in Nactel some 20 years ago. Any who might reliably remember him must therefore be at least a middle aged. Let us make inquiries where we can. Also, I'm gonna be my break. I'm gonna be doing a short toilet break. And also, new people watching shouldn't forget to like stretch, get something to to drink or eat. Hydrating is always good. So yeah, I'm gonna be right back in like a minute or so. So yeah, back again. Um, so we wanted to look around for uh, our mage. With all the earring, you could say. Also, there's no quest for like any if occurrence yet for this area, I guess. A farm mage 20 years ago. Mm, yes, I remember, man. It's not often we get visitors from across the salt, let alone those dwelling of infants. A baby girl, as I recall. Also, I'm in passing, mind. If anyone were to know more, I'd wager it would be Humuruk. I was already Jibaraj then. A baby girl? It couldn't have been. Thank you, sir. That information is very helpful. Okay, back to the dude we just were at, actually. Of course. Hello again, do you require assistance? A farm mage passed through the brush roughly 20 years ago, possibly carrying a young child. Do you remember him? Why do you ask me this? Who is this man to you? He may have been my grandfather, and I wish to know what brought him here. Your grandfather? Not by blood, but he is family nonetheless. A foreign mage did indeed visit each brush, Master Galoof. So far as his identity is concerned, I trust you are satisfied. More than that, however, I cannot say. Why not? I simply cannot. I beg your forgiveness and understanding. However, I wouldn't press. Thank you for confirming his presence here. The rest I will discover myself. Out of more general curiosity, I have another question. To say the Yokui once dwelt in these forests, he rusted exactly. General curiosity indeed, but yes. Before they withdrew to Okopaja some five centuries ago, the Yokui claimed Yaktel as their own. Many of the uh, architectural remains can be found on the lower forests, the Atika uh, Heartland. And that's where they must have had their restrooms. Thank you. That answers much and more. I understand that it means uh, too long for one's family. So believe me when I say that, though my position forbids me from abiding you further, I wish you nothing but success. By being the third promise, find the Golden City, you will surely find the answers to your questions. Speaking of which, I have a query of my own for you, Tomomo. May I request a moment of your company? Sure. Don't wonder what he was on about. Come, no word for you. How did we being like uh, requested specifically this kind of uh, makes me wonder. Thank you for obliging me. First let us head to the center behind this village. Oh, sure.
It was my intention to see you off without saying anything, but Miss Cryer's plea has softened my resolve. As the leader of the community, I'm gladdened to see that the Phil Brummers has surrounded herself with such compassionate and trustworthy companions. Will you tell me of her journey thus far? Is it so? It seems the ride has been a source of great learning and growth for Lamati. It asked me well to hear that. I wonder if Lama. I just wanted to suggest that it could be the Lama T is his daughter. My daughter. My daughter would be about her age. Girls are rarely born amongst the Shabral, so when she arrived, the village was elated. Such joy I felt when first I held her, and pain when I found her at the bottom of a cellar. Three years old, an ancient, it was said, but I knew better. An accident, it was said. She had been pushed. Though we never caught him, a suspicious figure was seen fleeing towards the Yatika uh, heartland, towards Mamuk. Once by the enemies, the Mamujan Gibral had learned to live in peace. But who could doubt the intent of such reprehensible act? by targeting the child who would one day lead her people. The criminal sought to undermine the future of the Shabra. I was determined not to let him succeed, and so I let the memory of my daughter die in that synod and gave her into the care of the one person I knew who could protect her. Dernsarun Gulul Jaja Though she was born to lead Shabra, fate had a greater plan for Lamati. Only the Dawn Servant and I know the truth, but I must now take you into my confidence for one reason. If the villain who attempted to murder my daughter was indeed of Mamuk, then Renser too was the Shibra as the Burns. I was caught of guard once, I would suffer the same tragedy again. And so I ask you, not as the Dawn Servant's elector, but as a father, to watch over the third promise. Defend her from her enemies that may be lurking in the shadow. You do this for me. Alright. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? I trust me not as a rule of Toriolo, but as a concerned father. Suffice it to say, this conversation must remain between us. Pray, breathe not a word of this to anyone. I mean, I have to uh, title Secret Keeper for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Someone listening on us. Hmm. How do these boots look? Eh, have a plan. Can't change my clamor again. Recalling the past has rendered me emotional. I require a moment to compose myself, but please do not keep the full promise waiting. Alright. Do we have another evil current nearby, actually? To the south, a bit of here. But we go to the south later on anyway. Solo instance? Okay. That's interesting. 
probably Bagu Jaja was gonna tr about to try something again, I would guess. Upon speaking with Lamati, several cutscenes were played in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. All right. You're back. So what do uh, Homo want? <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> it's alright, you don't have to say. More importantly, the continuing back traverse still isn't clear yet. Something about even more rocks. I think I will take the opportunity to rest. All the cooking and preparing for it has worn me out. An app does sound tempting. I'm still being watched, aren't we? I want one promise. What if I go judge us? What do we want? Give me a short moment. Sorry, brother. And I'm back. I've come to fetch you. You're welcome to refuse, but know that it would be most unwise. And why is that? I'm sure your sort of friend has an idea. What do you think? And they say house cats don't come in court. Follow me, promise. What is normal jumbo go judge of blending now? What is the meaning of this? And just how far do you plan on taking us? Jaja, you snake! If you want my keystone so badly, you deal with me and me alone. Leave the elector out of this. <laughs> is that all you think he is? Foolish kitty. This man is the reason we are here. Take a good look at him. Go on. Look. Surely you recognize your real father. Don't believe us? Then ask your trusted Selsworth. She heard it straight from the old man's mouth. Is it true? Is Homorok my... Your silence says it all. Now that you understand the situation, let's see those keystones. 
I'll even let you fight for them. Just you and me. If that adventurer attempts to interfere, I'll kill the old man myself! Hmm. You despicable, heartless fiend! Kinsman or no, I won't stand for you taking hostages! Come on then! Do you want to fight? I'll give you a fight! Oh, such heroic caterwauling promise! I'm shaking. There we are, to speak about. Well. We wouldn't want to attempt any thoughts of rescue. By the by, house cat, they've been instructed to put down Papa dearest when you lose. Hopefully, he settled his affairs. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not losing to the likes of him. All right, then. Well, what are you waiting for, you blessed bastards? It's two against one. Don't oh, wait, don't me tell scared. me. Actually, we're really going to control, Amati. I know I didn't hear you hide. Mm. Yeah, you should break down before you get hurt. You think this weekly could hurt me? I tell you, tell you, tell you all! Don't look away, son. I want you to watch as I tear your beloved promise to shreds! Well, let's see what he has to offer. Hey, eyes on me. The house cat, remember? <laughs> I'll say it again. I'm not losing to the likes of you. I'm going to become Don's servant, and I will protect my people! Where are we gonna actually be playing a slumber tea? Please help me arrange my hotbar. This better be a player slumber tea. For a skiffer combat, Lama T will gain the resolve she needs to unleash powerful limit breaks. Not only do these attacks deal great damage, they recover HP. Use them early and often to emerge victorious. I'm just saying that they actually give you an explanation of what it's supposed to do. So petal. Oh yes, I can sort it. Ah, oh, you also good. So this is This can be put here. Just on HP, Kumbo's Q currency. Just amount increase, which for your healing. Just MRT, rush attack, okay. So I can rip you to pieces. 
Jesus. should be more than enough for Miss Mittens. So where I wanted to go, but okay. No more tricks, Bakko Chaja. We're selling this here and now. Still playing the part of the brave warrior. I don't like how low help I am the entire time. This right has taught me so much about my nation, my people, and myself. Doing another kickdown. Okay, he did not. I was expecting a kickdown, that's why I didn't move, but okay. How do you like this? So far, it is quite easy. I finally understand what it means to live in peace. To breathe each day in safety and happiness. Okay, this time we used to kick down. Not enough to claim the title of Don Servant. I must carry on Papa's legacy, his love for our people. Here in an upstart, why won't you die? Yeah, that's not even hard. I will be the next dawn servant. 
and I'll protect my people's happiness to the last. Your stupid pride? This is for Mamook! We cannot lose! Oh ho! The great Baku Jaja needs help, I see. Send your whole army! You still won't win! Jeez! I will prove that my allies are Jeez. ready to believe in me! Sweet. I mean, manageable. Glad we have our keystone back. Finally. I reclaim what you stole. No. No. How can this be? How could that puny house cat beat all of us? You've caused nothing but trouble with your dirty tricks. Threatening me, Hanuhanu, releasing Valley Armanda, harassing me is one thing, but you've endangered too many innocents. No more, Bakul Jaja. I will not stand for it. If you even think of tormenting my people again, you will answer to me. What's going on now? The hell? And he goes and forgets he had the way blocked. <laughs> So he was the fault for blocking the way to the lower levels. What? That was his doing? The only part left in the saga is the Lay of the Brotherhood in Mamuk. The plan was to force you here so we could take the rest of your keystones. So that's what he was up to. But, uh, should you be telling us this? <laughs> I just was wondering to say. <laughs> what does it matter? You've beaten us. It's over. We'll release the hostage. I'm 
sorry. I was careless. Are you all right? So what Bakul Jaja said about you and me. I... Ha. But to single-handedly defeat Bakul Jaja, you truly are the Dawn Servant's daughter. <laughs> it has been my honor to bear witness to your journey. Promise. Promise. Yes. That's what I am. I'm Kalul Jaja's daughter, and Tuli Hyolal's next dawn servant. Come on. Let's rejoin the others. Only one more brew left to do. Sweet. We're finally getting new. Seems we are last to return. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. Being a faith in favor me, keeping out of the fight even when you get dirty, couldn't have been easy for you. But Booker Jaja won't be the last person to threaten those I care about. I wanted to prove uh, I wanted to prove to myself that I can stand up to such ruins, even when I stand alone. Which is to say I won't ask for your help when I need it, of course. I know better than that now. Sorry. At least a part of Bakul Jaja is done now, for now. Early in the second promises can. The passage to Mamuk remains blocked. For now, all we can do is try to rest and recover. I'm guessing Zeru Jaja targeted him. Perhaps with a meal, as my sister would no doubt suggest. Shall we borrow the kitchens and prepare some Shibruk Pibir? <laughs> so thou hast taken a liking to the dish. As we learn to appreciate the unfamiliar, tis only natural that we develop new affinities. There is no shame in this. But there is an ignorance. I had barely considered what the people of Tuli Yolal hold dear. What hopes they harbor for the future. Our nation is built upon the bonds that father forged during his journey across Tural. But so single-minded have I been in my advocacy of foreign innovations that I failed to understand my own people. Could someone who struggles to connect with the populace ever make a worthy dawn servant? To understand and connect with people is by no means easy. But there is something you can do to pave the way. Let them see you for who you really are. What makes you laugh and cry and rage. That sort of honesty is the first step towards mutual understanding and connection. Understanding begets fellowship. As my father said. And yet... What you suggest does not come naturally to me. I can understand him in that sense, yeah. It also doesn't come naturally to me. I, too, have found it difficult to speak from the heart. In thy struggles, I see mine own. 
painful in their familiarity. Yet frightening though it may feel, if we are to move forward, we must indeed take that first step. Dispense with pretense and simply be. Do you remember when you first approached us and we asked you why you wanted to become Dawn Servant? You said you wished to use the knowledge you acquired in Charlion for your country and in doing so repay your father for the opportunities he afforded you. What won me over was not your ambition, but your motivation. So let your people know this, and in time, they'll come to support you as we do. You can't hide behind that stoicism forever. <laughs> I pick two I good companions. Have. I will make a greater effort to be myself. By not being my usual self so much. <laughs> this side of, kind of sounds contradictory, to be honest. <laughs> okay. I may have picked a Zaru job would maybe do something, but I guess not. Because, like, Zaroja is lacking a keystone now. So, what's the state of uh, Team Back Travers? Still being cleared, I assume. Um, Rook said he would notify us as soon as work was done. Then perhaps we should. Um, perhaps now would be a good time to consider how we might reclaim Wukla Master and Keystone. The next week will be our last, after all. Well, about that. Oh, I already got it back. But then? Not to mention how. This is Bagel Jaja we are talking about. So I taught him a lesson and took my keystone back. You bested Baku Jaja in single combat? Bravo! <laughs> what can I say? I've had good friends to encourage and cheer me on. There you are. Our excavators have contacted me with news of their success. The team back Travers is now safe for travel. Then we can finally make for my MOOC. Gonna figure this isn't Baku Jaja's home. We can only hope its residents don't share his winning personality. If it's indeed a city where Cataram first met a dawn servant, surely some civ uh, civility awaits us. I will not be so certain. It is true that the dawn servant received Cataram in Mamuk and was instrumental in the establishment of friendly relations between Shabran and Mamuja. But since that time, most of the Mamuja who supported this peace have left the city in favor of abiding in the capital. What remains is the cloistered of Mamuk, and while these traditionalists do not take up arms against us, never do they be a great law for outsiders. Whatever they are like, the people of Mamuk are also of Toleyala. If I'm to be down servant, it's my job to know them first of all. Well, we be on our way then. I'm glad I could learn about where I came from. And eat so much sheep weak people besides. Thank you for everything, Mamuruk. Till next time. Take care. First we make our way across the Jobrite Center Field, due southeast. Nope, first we're gonna do the Evil Current Side Quest, which popped up. <laughs> I do wanna be able to fly as soon as possible. How you have grown indeed. Hmm. 
Um, also get that gear up. And update my comrade again. But we do have two pluses on it. Huh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do we only have like one Ephorite crest? Uh, if a current crest here? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Should be really over Kovic, I hope. Or do we really be having to do some fighting? I see. Uh, give me my trigger ball, please. some damage. Oh, it just said like to... Okay. Immediately found the right spot. Perfect, to be honest. Already there's another crest over there. Ah. Yeah, then we head back there. Let's skip that one. I'm gonna go look for the one to sell first, though. Uh, who compares? We can actually go sell from here. Taking you be I'm um, taking you along, thank you very much. Is there anything more to this area? So it's a self rest, okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bad, <laughs> okay, this is a dead end. All right, good to know.
I just have to track back up there to that quest. Mm. I haven't checked the chat on the way. We'll be walking for a bit anyway. Uh... Eh, just people being created. <sighs> this is why I want flying as quickly as possible, because flying first off is faster and you can just go with store aid. Don't have to bother about the layout that much at least. Okay, what do you have for us? Let it be quick, please. We are part way on the way to our goal, so I just hope I don't have to walk all the way back here. Hopefully. Mm. It is a really jungle, though. Oh. We really, it's really a nice place to go for. Follow the elderly Jabra in some safe distance. Oh, this is... Oh. This is a stealth mission. Come on. Why? Hey, uh, we'll be fine now, uh, hopefully. I'm not here. Just your imagination. So just continue walking, please. It's quite slow after all. Jump. Thanks. Hmm. We're going into sprint mode. Yeah. Nice.
I'm just gonna pair a girl body enemy. Do I think this is a destination? At least it looked like it. Sweet. I'll finish with that at least. I do have to go wake all the way there, but I'm not going to do that now. I can just claim the reward later. When really it should happen to be in that area. The Terras will, uh, will bring us straight to the Jatika Heartland. Rema, how you insisted this for the screen? I'm guessing this will change now. Uh, yep. So we need to check straight to the south. All right. Which time is up above here? Uh, I'm just checking. Flying Ramu there. Just letting me be. Yep, it's really is up here. Whee! Hello, Cry. The map is quite steep, isn't it? Let us take our time and descend safely. Also, why do I have not my ferry on? Just noticed it now. I spoke with one of the excavators on my way down, and apparently Baku Jaja cleared away the one foreign tree remaining by barreling through it. The Lamati singularly defeated someone possessed of such physical might is nothing short of remarkable. Still, we are to proceed with caution. There's no telling what his wounded bride might compel him to attempt. True enough. Oh. And now it's suddenly all turning blue. Interesting. So you need a current down here. Nope. Okay. I'm guessing it's just might be a spot for an S rank then or something. Like an, an a hand mark.
Ooh. Ooh, I do like this. Alluring, isn't it? A more race than one. Take my paring stone and hold it close to the glowing rock. As you hold the paring stone in the soft glow, it affixes itself to the boulder with surprising force. Paring stones are natural magnets and that meteorite filled with iron. One of many remnants of an ancient meteor shower. The heterogeneous ether they emit cause surrounding flora to glow unique hues, as you can see. <laughs> Interesting. So these glowing borders came plummeting down from the heavens. We try all be merciful. There you are. Blue. It's all blue. A far cry from the upper forests, indeed. This place is already so fascinating. I'm eager to hear what the people of Mamu can tell us about it. Keep running. We're almost there. I really, really do love the look of this place. It really is damn pretty. Well, this is definitely something I want to do flying through the trees up above once we get the capability to fly. As this is also my first time visiting Mamook, I have no experience in interacting with the locals. But giving Mook Rook's parting words, I would advise a cautionary approach. True. Also, we get a new head. Uh, what does it look like? Oh, wait. I did turn off my head accessories. I mean, it's just a feller. City of Silence. Okay, that's already like giving a little thing, a little bit of a hint what's going to, uh, what's this will be about a bit. Well, we all know what comes next. Let's find the Elector. The two streets seem to converge upon this plaza, so I propose we split our numbers between them. Given Rook's guidance, I would suggest that we are on the side of caution and move throughout the city in Paris. Eric can come with me, and Adesik go with Koi. At least how I look to a copy Lamarty. If these main arrangements are to everyone's satisfaction, then may our pers uh, respective searches prove fruitful. Mm. Alright, but first, Eve Ride. This is the Attica Heartland already. Huh. Okay, uh, getting up there might be annoying already. Um, there was. Where was it? Da -da -dum. Cucumbers. Pit to the east. Ah, just right there. 
Sweet. Wait, the next is like far to the over rest. But this area is still quite big, so we still uh, do have a lot to uncover here. I was just wondering, this will like only be the fourth area of this, like, uh, of this expansion. So, curious what like uh, the other two will be. Though one will probably be like the Golden City itself. I would guess. Uh, where are they? Your words may as well be ambient noise for all the care the system pays you. Okay, we're totally being ignored. As we begin to speak, the man abruptly turns and leaves. What was that? Please tell me you've had better luck. No one will talk to you either. I was prepared to hard stares and harsh words, but this is something else. The building still looks like a shop, doesn't it? Let's go and take a look. A merchant wouldn't ignore us, surely. Uh, I kind of doubt it at this point. Hello there, we'd like to ask you something if you don't mind. Move along, outsiders. We're just trying to find someone, the Dawn Servant Selector. Could you tell us where they are? I guess we are not wanted here. <sighs> How are we supposed to find the lecture if nobody will even speak with us? Everyone can you hear me? Come to the massive stone structure on the side of the city as quickly as you can. I wonder what's going on now. Up there. It by a mere shade. Sorocha, Papa. Not as you know him. What you see is an arcane manifestation of the Dawn Servant, as he was in his prime. Huh. Channeler is Zerelja, Autark of Mamut, and Elector for the Feet of the Brotherhood. Duly 
Yolo's mightiest warrior. Yet wisest you are not. You who spurned your retainer Zane with battering your betters. To prove oneself superior to blessed siblings by surpassing the shade of Galul Jarjar himself. That is the final feat. The first promise fought alone and fell short, but that is now the least of his concerns. You could have let your foolishness end with your failure. But instead, you attempted to harm an anointed Alector. Soralja! As of this moment, you are no longer a claimant. I disqualify you from the right of succession. Be gone from my sight. isn't over yet. I will be the one to reach the Golden City. When Zorocha was defeated, he tried to take the Keystone by force, but he was thwarted by Father Shade. My dearest child! Welcome home. This feat was made for you. Only blessed siblings could hope to defeat Gulul Jaja. But ere we begin, I would see the fruits of your triumphs. Come, show me your tablets. Hey. I don't think there's any keystones at this point. Oh, right, you only have two. What is this? Where are your keystones? Explain yourself, boy! Sweet, sweet. No matter. Not all can be expected to go to plan. What keystones you lack... ...you can easily take. I... ...I tried. But, but, but I couldn't. I... ...cannot beat her. You already asked that earlier. You mean to tell me that you, glory of Mamuk, for whom all here have sacrificed, were defeated by your inferiors? <sighs> you are as useless as your siblings. A failure. Leave and never return! You have no place here! <sighs> Let's go, brother. Worthless! Pathetic! This was our chance to claim sovereignty, and he ruins it! I mean, Bagutraja did a lot of bad stuff, but he did not deserve to be treated like this by his father of all people. No one deserves to, to be treated like that by fa by your own family. Ah, 
what? When these stragglers fail, Gurul Jaja will be forced to extend his rule. And in the next rite of succession, we will present a better claimant. So come, stand before me, and fall. I won't you do your trial. Oh? You intend to forfeit the right? Papa wants his successor to intimately understand the country he loves. Every step of my journey, I've learned something about our peoples and their cultures. I would do the same here in Mamuk. The Mamulja deserve nothing less, so your battle can wait. I'm of the same mind. Father named you an elector for a reason. There must be something that he would have us learn. Hmm. Do as you will. But until you triumph over the shade, you shall proceed no further. Promise, I would speak with you. Meet me on the western outskirts. Looks like we convinced one of them to speak with us at least. <laughs> the lectures have met us far, have all had to peculiarities, but each we felt would judge claimants equally. The Zoraja, however, seems set in his belief the only blessed siblings are worthy of the throne. I would it answer and name an openly biased man, Elector. Ring over Zoraja won't get us anywhere. The lady, on the other hand, was the first person to address us of any civility since we arrived. Should go and meet her. Here, what she has to say. The Western House goes, right? Alright. Thank you for coming. My name is uh, Emil Alja. Here we take for talk fully away from prying eyes. And what is it you wish to talk about? Tell me, what do you think of a mook? Well, we don't have much to say yet. No one wants to speak with us. All who remain in this city are devoted to the traditional ways. They believe the blessed children, uh, blessed siblings, are superior, that only they are worthy to lead the people of this continent. Most would not deign to address outsiders, deeming them beneath notice. Such an idea, community, so far as Bugul Jaja is concerned. I'm tired, exhausted by this senselessness. They are just like me, but we dare not speak our, um, our truth aloud. Yet, now we have an opportunity to reclaim our agency. For you, have best at Bakul Jaja. You, Ishabra, inferior by our presumptions, triumphed over our two-headed champion. This time, anyway. Next time I might not be so lucky, Bakul Jaja just its swarm. I seriously don't understand why he cheats so much. It seemed to me he'd do better if he just trusted his own abilities. He's desperate. Other blessed things have found before. Mola, Jaja, of the silver scales, for one. 
He traveled across the sword in search of conquest, only to be overcome. But no matter how the individual may falter, the people still believe in their siblings' supremacy. Because of my father. He who united to all under one rule, who in their eyes stands as testament to the traditional infallibility, regardless of your father's virtuous intent, his greatest triumph has only fanned the flames of our people's obsession. However, as both his daughter and claimant to his legacy, your triumph could prove that Guru Judge's true strength lies not in his birth, but in his character. And in so doing, you may give us the strength to renounce plus siblings forever. I can understand wanting to forsake Salatry, but isn't forsaking two headed Mamujaya going a bit far? You must decide it for yourself. The price we pay is worth an empty dream. Okay. Intriguing. There's a place that will help you to understand our plight. It lies far to the west of you. Follow me. Okay. Um. Should be getting close to like the next ether current. I was also straight to the west. Well, alright. There's a lot more of like these random meteorites all, all around the place. Of course. Uh -huh. I cannot see it. Is it down? There somewhere? Ah, it's right down here. Was a really cool crystal right here. It's white. The weary liberty. Oh, so far I can say already my like for now my most favorite area in Dondre. Is there a meteorite up there? Aye, and judging by the attachment, the tree must benefit from the meteorite's unique ether. Anyway, we should press on. Milaja was anxious for us to see whatever it is she has to show us. Hmm. No priest. So somewhere up there, you can search for that uh, in a bit. Mm. Just gonna uncover that piece of the map over there as well. Okay, there's one more to the northeast and one more to the northwest, as it looks like.
I'll just die right away. Both of them still live. Good. I just would have like read as one of them. A hunting camp, like it's not. I'd love to talk to the Mamuja hunters and learn about their race, except they'd probably ignore me. The others have continued on. Let's catch up to them. This is a place they wanted to show us. But let's just be on this passage. Entry to these crowns is not prepared even to the world. Nonetheless, I will reveal our secrets to you. Mr. Sure, I shall take full responsibility. Come see for yourself the truth of the blessed. Our destination. To erect it there would have been no small feat. The work of your Kui hands built long, long ago. Our forebearers merely altered the entrance. Altered? To what end? It will be quicker to show you. We have beasts that can carry us below. They look cool. Like a mix of like birds and a deer. Ooh. 
Ugu Jaja. A cool Jaja. What? Could it wait to laugh at the failure? You've always come here to cry. Ever since you were little. Mother! The third promise seeks to learn about Mamluk. She may be our chance to finally end what we have been powerless to stop. Talk with her. Tell her what we have done. Fine. Perhaps it's only right that we be the ones to speak of it. <laughs> Listen, as we are. Interesting. Here. This vessel holds the remains of a two-headed babonja. An infant. We converted the ruins into a cenotaph, so the souls of these children wouldn't return as vengeful spirits. Do you know how blessed siblings are made? I've heard that they are born to Hubago and Bunawa parents. Such unions between clans were originally arranged to stop infighting. The war against the Shebran was going poorly. And we needed to be united. Then, one day, a child was born. One blessed with two heads. And tremendous power. When this child grew old enough to lead our army, we became unstoppable. The Shebral had no answer. And we drove them all the way back to the trees above. That taste of victory awakened our greed. We became obsessed with conceiving more and more of these superior children. No matter the cost. Of the countless born, most die. Only one in a hundred survive. If we are blessed, it is only because we yet live. Unlike our brothers and sisters who were sacrificed for the glory of Mamuk. That's horrible. Of course it's horrible! It's an atrocity we can never take back! Those children died so that we could live. So we had to succeed, no matter what. To fail would mean it was all for nothing! Nothing! But I did fail. I squandered their sacrifice. Yeah, don't use them as an excuse. I, 
I should never have been born. You're wrong. You didn't ask to be born as you are, and you are responsible for your siblings' deaths. The people obsessed with blessed siblings are. They made their choices, but they don't make yours. Since when do you let others push you around, Bakul Jaja? What do you want? Say it! I want it to end. I don't want any more to die. Then you have my word. We'll put a stop to this madness. Blessed siblings are revered by their supporters as a means to achieve dominance in Tural. If we understand why they harbor such aspirations in the first place, we would be better equipped to treat with them. Indeed. I just hope they will be open to discourse. Take me with you. Those fanatics treat my words as gospel. It's actually going to help us now. Interesting. No. There will be trouble if your father finds out you're still here. Moshu Tural Zush. There we will gather the people and ask anything the Third Promise wishes to know. Then take one of my scapes. One that blends the Hubiko and Bunewa coloring. It'll serve as proof that you have our trust. People will do as you say if you show it to them. I'm sorry for what I've said. And done. I don't expect your forgiveness. You had your reasons. I'm glad I could know them. Aww. Which is to say. You're not a complete alpaca's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wuklana. Well, maybe it's for the best. Hatred is exhausting, after all. Indeed. So let us make the most of our newfound friendship and bring together the people of Mamuk. We have much to discover. All right. I don't well, kind of want to know if there's anything is hidden behind that, like the aura. Eh? Well, I guess for the find that out, you would have like to be able to fl actually fly there. Hey, Damo, before we join the others, can we talk for a moment? I really hated him, you know, Buckle Judger, of every fiber of my being. He tried to ruin Ihana, sabotaged us in the river. Kidnapped me for my keystone and released the most vicious to while retrial of all time. Anything you could do to cause us pain, he did. Never in a million years would I forgive him. But the moment I saw but why he did what he did, the pain he's been carrying this whole time, oh my anger just evaporated. Does his pain justify his actions in your eyes?
I hear you. But Gochacha smote the stone himself him of his cries. He must narrow he must answer to them, like anyone else. But right now, my duty is to ensure that no one in my move feels desperate enough to go to such lengths ever again. Anyway, thanks for listening. Not if was that I feel readier for the challenges ahead. Come on, let's head back to the city. Okay. I will move like through the lower parts of the map first though and gather like the remaining evil currents I'm still missing. Before we head back to the city. I'm guessing we'll be right there in the corner. Yeah, I have to go around. Uh... Ah, there it is. Next one's surgeries. All right. That was a good opportunity and carried him uh, on the way there. Just normal monsters. Alright. They look really cool. Okay, what does it say? Northeast. Alright. <sighs> Leave me. Just passing through. Some more ruins here, as it looks like. Also, like one of the meteorite holes. Okay, straight to the east now. Ah, right up there. Perfect. If that is there any more evil currents on this map, that's a question now. Southeast, yes, there actually is. Okay. I supposed to get up there, probably also proof for lying. Uh, there it is. And with that, we have all the occurrence in this area. Sweet. Just needing like two world side crests in a story to actually give us a game for current, but hey. Oops, I didn't want to look the other side. 
Welcome to this game with sense of faith in us. You want to you won't fail him or his people. I just don't want to. You have no moment to lose. According to Mielalja, Moshutura Zhou is an abandoned settlement northwest of the city. It will afford us the privacy we require. Must work quickly, lest uh, Zaruji discuss our intentions. Fortunately, Bago Judge forward to give us additional scales, so we might cover more ground in less time. Everyone should take one and get going. Use them to gather as many people as you can. Alright. Someone, let's retrace our steps. Maybe this uh, time we can convince folks to land in here. That. And like one of the houses behind you. Uh, we are in a tattoo move along. I can't be seen talking with the likes of you. If I scale, an outsider's hands, what misses do you have for me? So Bobby Jazz has sent you to call an assembly. I'm not sure what to make of this, but I shall go to Mushtura Zorsh at once. If the best trusts you, then so will I. So what is it that you will cry of me? Bago Jaja bids us to come to Moshtura Zorj. A strange place for an assembly, but very well. I will not refuse he who fights for our dreams. Huh. Really simple this time around. Have you managed to give us some of the good folks? Wonderful. This team Paco Jaja will be released. This fellow here will be coming to Moshtura Zosh as well. Apparently there's a natural nursery to the west called Gomajik Roof. Could you go and see who can talk who can talk to who you can talk to there as well? I'll meet you in Moshtura Zosh afterwards. There's just one person I need to find. Alright. Oh, this got a bit away, but okay. Leave this place outsider. Oh, my apology, I was unaware. I thank you, blessed Scalebearer, for bringing me word of discovering. I shall away to Moshtura Zosh at once. Okay. Let's walk straight there. I actually just got it out, but hey.
Wait, I can't, can't get up from here? Are you for real? Oh, I can. Thank you. Would have been annoying to go around. Where's number two? Oh, Koana. Sorry to keep you waiting. You already did the second promise as well. Lamalty, need I remind you this is the right as a compassion uh, competition? Whatever adventures you're about to share with me, you ought to utilize to your own benefit. I've barely made headway in communicating with the locals at this rate. You lead a race to the Golden City. I need your help. To complete the feat? No, no. Mamuk has a problem can solve on my own, and you're the most clever person I know. I want you to hear the people first hand so that we might come up with a way to help them. Goro, I'm at your disposal. Everyone, thank you for gathering on such short notice. I'm Lamati, third promise of Toliola. Promise? I thought you served Baku Jaja. You deceived us? No, they did not. The scales they showed you were mine. I entrusted them to the third promise and her on you. Why are those uh, these outsiders so? Because Mama T has won my trust. Now we will hear her words. Bogotata shared with me the truth about blessed siblings, about the price you pay to conceive them. As an outsider to your community, it is not my place to judge you or your culture. Culture is born of the experiences of its people, of their lives and their land. But it breaks my heart to know that yours has brought you all so much suffering. If any here wish to break from the cycle of tragedy that creating pastoral sibling demands, I ask you to join us. Please, I don't want any more of our children to die. You think we want this? We have no choice. Only blessed siblings can liberate us from our suffering. Without them, we have nothing. That remains to be seen. Speak with the full promise. Share with her your worries as your, and your pain. And together we may find a new way forward. Together? If she is trustworthy, then I will speak with her.
It would be best if you withdrew, my son. Many cannot yet speak fully in your presence. Let's keep an eye out for Zerelja. He wouldn't take kindly uh, to his sort of covering. Right, to this sort of gathering. Once you understand everyone's concerns, you better equip to help them. Let's make sure they feel heard. I'm glad that Karn agreed to have us. He's always been good at solving complicated problems. Me, not so much. But I'll support Momook's people however I can. By combining our respective strengths, we'll help them discover a new source of hope. I know we will. Alright, time bro. Before we start, let's make sure we are remembering our history correctly. The Mamuja and Jibra fought for centuries over the land in the upper forest, but due to infighting, Mamuja forces struggled to make uh, significant gains. In order to promote cooperation, the Obergi, Abigo, and Bonavar clans intermarried, and this hopeless siblings were first conceived. With that in mind, let's talk to the people and learn why they rely on blessed siblings. The siblings promise us more than strength, they promise us the sun. Their source is dark and inhospitable. When giving the opportunity to live in Toriolo, most of our people didn't think twice. Still, the prospect of being among so many outsiders was intimidating enough to keep many of us here. Best siblings are meant to deliver us from this accursed forest to lead us to the fertile land above, where we might take a place from our jar to abide in peace and plenty. So you desire for the land, once it's all your own. This land was once rich with ore, but the Yokui did not stop digging until all the rains were spent. The meteors are only good for so much. Even if we made overtures to traders, we have little to offer. Nothing would make me happier than to make a good life for my family in the place where I was born, but that's impossible. So with resources as sparse as they are, you don't have a good prospect for trade. Those who have known only open skies and bountiful land cannot comprehend our blight. To thrive we must take what lack by force, and for that we need the might of the blessed sibling. They have to be at a race to thrive, space that don't incur filing. As you have noticed, this forest is very dark. Hardly any sunlight makes it through the canopy, so it feels like it's always night. We blow, we fertilize, we irrigate, yet our crops shrivel and die, though cursed. The only one that grows well is an azure, Chatika banana in Turali. Uh, Try living on that and little else for a few centuries and see how you like it. Of course, when nothing grows, it's not hard to imagine why you would want to leave. Like you had the opportunity to leave at one point, but I. Mean. We still like actually have, but I, I think I'm starting to understand. Everyone had their own perspectives, but all their concerns were about the forest itself. Dark, infertile, cursed. Even that, it's a little wonder that people here wish they would have better land. And who better to get it from than blessed siblings? It's hard to convince people to stay in a place that can't provide what they need. Would think the meteorites at least would have value, but apparently not. Hold on, didn't I already mention something about the meteorites? The evil day emit makes the plant glow blue. However, a significant physiological effect, I would say. If you were to study these meteorites, you might discover other ways they influence local flora. I knew there is a curious amalgam of tree and meteorite just south of here. Determining precisely how they interact with one another may yield crucial insights. Everyone, I really appreciate you for sharing your thoughts with us. Thanks to your insights, we have a promising idea already. We just need a moment to investigate it further, so please bear with us. We'll be right back.
All right, back to that one tree we noticed earlier. Of course, it wasn't pointed out for nothing. It is incredible how a tree could support such an enormous boulder. The meteorites of fear emissions are palpable, even more from this distance. Seeing this again makes me feel more confident in sharing a theory of mine. I suspect that only plants with an etheric affinity to these meteorites can thrive in this forest. If so, the gargantuan trees that create a dense canopy would be in a would be necessity pull, would by necessity possess the same affinity, as well as the aforementioned natural tree. Indeed. I would like I should like to analyze samples of meteorite before drawing any definite conclusion, however. I carry with me a few devices that will aid in this endeavor, but perhaps you and Kawai could lend your expertise as well. I'd like to join you. The fixed signatures of those meteors may be crucial in determining what manner of species might fare well here. I think I see what you're getting at. If you can prove to them the cursed forest isn't quite so cursed, maybe the people won't feel like blessed siblings are the only solution. So how can I help? Want me to climb the tree and break off a piece of the meteorite for you? There are plenty of fragments on the ground already. It should be enough for our purposes if we gather about five pieces each. Even if those fragments are gathered from the um, disparate locations. I will collect uh, your pieces once you have them. Alright. Let's gather some meteorites, I guess. Or meteorite shards. Mm. There's one. There is another. Probably by this tree or somewhere else. Hmm. Ah, find a rock. The last one is right here. Sweet. Do you find your fragments? Here you go. Enjoy. Much obliged. I will not cry and I will combine the Gifford samples and conduct an analysis forthwith. Determining the wavelength may take a little while, but I'm hopeful that our efforts will bear fruit. 
Our time is to wait our arrival at Moshtur Hazor, so go there and meet her there. We'll return with our resources as soon as possible. Alright. Just need to get back up there again. Which flying would make a lot easier, but hey, you're not getting the access to flying yet, sadly. This is a somewhat short track there. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to just turn on auto walking. <laughs> Don't want to keep pressing W the entire time. And also, before we continue here, I'm gonna do another short toilet break, so I'm gonna be right back in a minute or so. Hey, we are back again. So let's see what, like, Karna will figure out for us. Don't know where The rest of you must have leave to Karna and the others. I don't know the first thing about the Shaolin devices of his, but if they can help the Mimuk, I'm glad he has them. There's hope for this forest yet, Tamo. I can feel it. Yep. Yeah, I do hope so, though. Well, let's get some purple color. <clears throat> <coughs> I'm sure Zerajar uh, uh, would have choice words for us if he knew what we were up to. But these people are my people, and I can't ignore their blight. To call myself Dawn Servant one day, I have to bring an end to the tragedy here. Many are depending on me, Bagu Jaja not least of all. Anyway, I'm sure Koana and the others will be back with their reports soon. And you finally back together. Good. Everyone is assembled. In light of our news, I thought it only right to call the others. Thanks for the efforts of all, and I'm pleased to say our analysis has yielded many valuable insights. And I dare say the prognosis is hopeful. Earlier we asked about the hopes you placed in Plus Siblings, why they are important to you. Your only response was a frustration towards this forest. For lack of natural resources, to the inability to cultivate crops, in all respects have you ever struggled to build a prosperous home, thus your understandable desire for new land. However, this would be an unfortunate dismissal of what makes your forest uniquely valuable. That is, the soil. Our tests have proven without a doubt that the Jitika heartland is abundantly fertile. This may be surprising to hear, as you have seen crops fail time and time again, but we have discovered the root of this problem as well. The meteorites scattered throughout our forest emit an unusual energy that greatly influences the development of surrounding plant life. Some plants thrive on this energy, like the Najul and the giant trees that create the canopy, but others, as you well know, are sickened by it. Fortunately, the solution is simple. 
Across the sword, in a place called Charion, there's a peerless collection of flora assembled from every corner of the world. Now that you know what energies are most prevalent in your forest, we can offer you seeds and starters uh, guaranteed to thrive here. I took the liberty of contacting a few colleagues via Link Pro. Should you desire them, the sample of your best candidates can be shipped here in short order. Just as you also acquired a uh, popoto and tomato from Tural, so too might my milk benefit from foreign crops. You mean you'll be able to grow more than natural here? Precisely. While well, care must be taken to choose those species that will not have any adverse effects on the ecosystem, agriculture options should increase markedly. With the right crops, Mamuk will have all it needs to prosper, both at home and in trade. Plus, their plagues don't have to be their answer anymore. Then, there was never any need to fight, never any need to sacrifice. We can't change the past, but we can try to make the future better. Let your teachings end with us. I know Blessed Blinks represent absolute strength to you. Letting go of that idea can't be easy. But I will prove that when we work together, our combined strength can achieve anything. Show us, Bombers. If there is another way for our children and our home, we will no longer suffer in silence. Sometimes we have to fight along, but not this time. What do you say a few words, Tamo? Hmm. No, five hours is a You can even save the entire star. Because we have done that before. Saving the star is far beyond the scope of our needs, but I acknowledge the value of allies. Well, it wasn't. You didn't know that there was a need for it, and now you're past that you don't even know that you had a need earlier, but yeah. You said what you wanted to say. Now all that's left to do is to defeat my father's shade in the feet of the Brotherhood and clear the way for my mook's bright new future. Do not, give us, uh, do not give us cause to question your faith in you, please. Live up to your words. I will. After complete this feat, let's be sure to tell Saroja the good news about his forest. I'm sure he is as eager as anyone to eat the tasty fruits they will grow here. Compassion even for the likes of him, who continue to eclipse me in every way. Then it is a simple choice. We are counting on you, Alamati. is gonna have to announce her readiness. I know it mentioned the sand with Riso Fervishry Collective for the Exodus will find new purpose here. But if they help these people to improve the prospects, all the better. Anyway, we should go and meet our comrades with Zorja made his own attempt. The final fee awaits. Alright. Okay. 
Let's see how well we can do. Ah, yeah, of course it's not a solo instance. Someone has gone to fetch Cyril J. He should be here soon. Upon, yeah, there are cutscenes. Let's go. Serelja? I'm ready for the final feat. <laughs> Grown weary of postponing the inevitable, have you? Something like that. You see, I've learned all sorts of things about Mamuk and your people. Is that supposed to impress me? I now understand why I need to surpass blessed siblings. The cost of producing superior offspring is destroying your people's souls. Look at them and you'll see this. So I'll defeat my father's shade and prove to you that there's a better path for Mamuk. What drivel! Without the blessed, we are nothing but weaklings! Dude! To fade into obscurity. Of course you are weak. We all are, each and every one of us. But when we join hands, we gain the strength to overcome any foe, even Vali Yarmanda. Enough talk. Prove your mettle against Gulur Jaja, the finest warrior ever to have grace to rule. Fine by me. Not even Papa's shade will stop me from upholding his legacy. Mm -hmm. I will fight alongside her. Claimants are not permitted to assist one another. Second promise. But you may observe your sister's pitiable attempt. I see. In that case... It seems I'm no longer a claimant. I am now free to participate, I trust. <laughs> what are you scheming? Nothing. I've simply come to realize who is worthy of following in Father's footsteps. Not our brother. Not Bakur Jaja. And not me. You have always held the happiness of our people closest to your heart, Namachi. So I will do everything in my power to ensure you ascend to the throne. This is how I shall repay Father for his kindness. This is how I shall serve Tuli Yolal. That's quite a commitment. I could always count on you, Kona. Thank you. <laughs> it will make no difference. Numbers matter not in the face of true might. Guru Jaja, mightiest of the blessed, arise!
Yep, it is to be our second Everyone round with Kuro Jaja. Ja. No hard feelings, Papa. Got a lot of hopes riding on my shoulders. And the only way forward is through you! Ooh, I like this. There's a lot of AOEs coming out here. Find doing now. Some manner of paralyzing effect. Defend the afflicted. We must free them. Target the constricting yes. flames. Not gonna burn my flames. Not that weird end. Gonna get a lot of opportunity to do some extra chip damage.
Come on, I just debuffed him. That's what he tried to use against us. But could not. Everyone get behind me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Will you have the strength to stand up to this? You can do impressive, but I'm not finished yet. We will see Lama Chief come down, sir. But only your love. It actually did a lot of damage. He is as good as dead. That's my old man for you. To accept this, ain't that a bit stubborn? Reading for you. Kind of um, Arugadin. It couldn't be. Tanqua, it's been too long. It has indeed. You're looking more imposing since last I saw you, Wuklamat. Tonqua? My Turali moniker. Galul Jaja insisted I take one, saying my birth name was too cumbersome for the local tongues. That birth name being Ketanram, I presume? <laughs> is that legendary Eorzean sailor, the one with the pickled cabbage. We can talk about me cabbage later. <laughs> Zarelja, whether you like it or no, these young'uns accomplished the feat. To deny Wuklamat her reward would be to betray the Dawn Servant's trust. And what should she be rewarded for? Calling upon her minions to carry her to victory! Hmm. Got a minions. 
New look, my lads, friends, and comrades. Comrade, you believe a ruler should be reliant upon such? Even Gula and Jaja did rely on comrades. Together, we can achieve anything. You needn't place your faith in the promise of blessed siblings. How would you have us reclaim our glory? <laughs> With friendship and community. With us. If you need to rule, you should be more sparing with your offers of clemency. Especially to a man who has sacrificed countless young lives. Nevertheless, I will fulfill my charge as elector. In recognition of your feet, I bestow upon you a keystone. Congratulations are nearly in order, I suppose. I'm confident that you will find the Golden City in no time. You've grown much and more during this journey. Become someone ready to lead our nation. Little Lamachi no longer. As your brother, I couldn't be more proud. Kona. Thank you. I must express my gratitude for your cooperation. And my regret for failing to live up to expectations. <laughs> Nonsense. If you believe Wook Lamart is the woman for the job, then you have our wholehearted support. One last thing. I wish to speak to you both from the heart. Unpracticed as I am. This may sound hackneyed, but... I am truly grateful to have met you. <laughs> Words spoken with such feeling would resonate with any fortunate enough to hear them. Ah, the sweet. Though our journey together hath ended, ever shall we cherish the memories. I. And should you require further esoteric musings or biting witticisms, don't hesitate to call. I dare say we'll come flocking. <laughs> but I get ahead of myself. As I recall, our contract remains in effect until we've escorted the Second Promise back to the capital. I leave my sister in your capable hands. See that she returns home safely. You've still moms to go yet, Wuklama. The right ain't over till you find the city of gold. I know. But if I can come this far, I can go all the way. I dare say we will leave soon finding it. Let's go and tell the people of our rectory. I 
for promise. You brought it everyone? We were just coming to you. We did it, Miraja. We were a proof to the altar that not even my father's full power could overcome the strength of our fellowship. I knew you would. That's right to trust you. You fulfilled your promise. Now it's our turn. You've shown us another way that we can build the lives we've always wanted. Here in our homeland without sacrifice. The only crumbs will come from across the sword. I suppose we have to treat with outsiders. As equals, of course. Inside or outside, we are just people, no matter what you look like or where you were born. We are not used to all the color and variety, difference can feel like obstacles. But by learning more about what makes us different, we can also find common ground in places we've never expected. Something new may become something you love. And someone you once hated might one day become your friend. You'll never know unless you keep an open mind, and while it may feel scary, taking that first step towards understanding is always worth it. Of course, learning about outsiders may well help my mood grow. But what happens when you learn about us? About what we've done? They will not. For generations, our covenant has been kept secret, and so shall it remain. The atrocities committed here were facilitated by the Ortarchs. We and no one else are responsible. For my deeds, I'm prepared to forfeit my life, but I will not suffer others to be damned alongside me. No one's being damned, and your life isn't forfeit. The last thing is the city needs a small death. Baba Gushacha hasn't fought this hard for this long only to lose his father. If you truly feel responsible, be the first person to extend understanding on the others on behalf of Mohook. Your community is waiting for you, here and into the Yorio. I still make things right, my love. Choose a different side of history. Thank you for promise. Thank you for everything. You still owe me an explanation about a cabbage, you know. <laughs> if you have a look, I've accepted you. Merchant manners are now available for use. Sweet. Road to the Golden City. There ain't no place for a proper jet. My cabin's just north of the city. Blue eyes aboard. As people are called on amount of my dazzling twinkles. Okay. I'll probably go. Let's actually finish and clean up all of the like Etherite crests. Oh, no, Evil Ride, uh, Evil Current Quest. Oh, oh. And I will do some teleport shenanigans just to make it easier to get to all of them. Um... 
Oh, come on, we can have the Black Mage in its fate. Come on. Stop being triggered in a fight. More monsters to fight, of course. Let's do a bit of teleporting to claim all of them in one fell swoop. Without having to move around too much. I guess I'm going back to Tuli um, yeah, to Yola for that. For one specific reason. Da, 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 da. 
because from here I can just literally teleport back here and pick up that one. <laughs> and then we just teleport back to my mook. Perfect, I would say, and we only spent like 70 kill for this. <laughs> so it also was completely inexpensive. That's from Kevin Ram. I like the MSQ to be more precise. Well, also before we see what like Kadaram's whole deal is over here, we're gonna do another short toilet break. So we were back in a moment. And we are back. Also, what I just like notice, which is quite quite right, nice now, like this, Battle for the Throne is like no longer a contest. It's now just like um, like a try of succession. Because all of the other competitors out. Like Bagul Judger isn't officially out yet, but he is running to us, and he has. Barely any keystones to catch up towards us, plus he couldn't get the food keystone anymore anyway. So Roja was disqualified, and Garner disqualified himself, and left the race um, for his own decision. Why did you choose to settle down in Mamook? They haven't exactly been welcoming to outsiders, legendary explorer or otherwise. All the more reason to keep a weather, um, a weather eye on them, though seeing how you have won them tomorrow, I think I will have less need for vigilance. I'm here at Guru Jaja's behest to ensure his hard won peace is kept. Incidentally, that remind to remind the Raja of his duties as electors, should he have forgotten it. Well, man ordered you to stay here. That's no way to treat an honored guest. Heh, I would say I'm more than your father's guest by now. Or didn't you see this uh, supporter atop war corps somewhere? That's right. Catenram was one of the names. Your father and I fought shoulder to shoulder in many a battle. While Gamanda being but one of our triumphs, he and I are brothers. So when your brother tells you to stand watch, you stand watch. You trust in his judgment and his strength of will, even if that means you have to sit out the occasional scrap. Surely you understand such a bond, surrounded as you are by all these bright and eager faces. I do. My comrades are my strength, and it's thanks to them that I understand Papa's hopes for this nation, that I must continue to protect. Then prove your readiness for the throne, Muglama. Find the Golden City. Oh, I will. With these bones beside me, even uncovering a legend should be child's play. Especially since I believe I already have. All by yourself? How? When? Well, as you know, electors are forbidden from giving unfair advantage to claimants. So when Hormorook refused to reward try my grandfather passed through Igbrash 20 years ago, the silence spoke volumes. You think Alufus had something to do with the Golden Sunny? 
Precisely. Moreover, only the Yokohui who lived in Yaktel ever dreamed those golden dreams. When exposed to certain triggers, those with magical aptitude have been known to receive visions. And uh, Gufolo's abilities are at all representative. The Yokui are no stranger to the arcane. Which means the dreamers of Earth likely owe their experience to their inherent qualities and their proximity to the city itself here in these forests. Then all we need to do is search Actel from top to bottom, right? It will move us to try and narrow our focus. To that end, I propose we return to Mamuk and make inquiries. By right there, we can all take the opportunity to see any necessary travel preparations. When everyone is ready, let us assemble at the Ether Ride. Yeah, Kashuya's boy, ain't ya? She told me about you. She said she tasked you with finding the Golden City. I, I might even succeed, despite my best efforts. I began to think it was a fool's errand. My own fruitless search in my youth proved as much. Yet here you are, Order and Riser, playing the fool again. Courtesy of the company I've been keeping, perhaps? Lamotte is not the only one to have grown thanks to her comrades. We find it together. <laughs> Was I ever that young? You waited for me. It seems Captain Roman was my mentor, so we chatted for a bit longer. Owen had said to meet by the Ephorite, so I see you there. Alright. I have all added a bit of stretch, I don't need to teleport there, so. Jump on there, please. Thank you. The merchants were more than happy to mend my gear and sell my supplies. One would hardly believe they were ever averse to adding visitors. <laughs> you won't believe how many Najur they gave me. Now all we need is a hint to point us in the right direction. The city of gold, here we come. I think I can offer that much. I have an inkling to where the golden city may be. Miladra and Zoraldra? Come to help us. As an elector, I am forbidden from speaking of the Golden City, but my life is behold to no such constraints. And anything you can tell us would be greatly appreciated. 
Our people have lived here for centuries. There is no corner of this forest we do not intimately know, save for one. Do you recall the place I showed you? I must son confess the truth of the blessed siblings. The stone pier stands at the entrance of the sky the Senaut, the final resting place of children we lost to our salary. Precious few are permitted beyond the cannot, uh, cannot have doors, and we have not explored its deepest recesses. If the Golden City is in Yachtel, that may well be hidden in there. You are permitted to search for it? I have no reason to refuse you. No longer will we rely on blessed siblings, nor will we conceal the sacrifice made to conceive them. The Senate is no longer under our protection. It is a uh, small burial ground, and our children deserve better. Their bodies will be moved to a place of comfort and peace. I'm sure by your judge I would appreciate that, and we're here to offer any help if you need it. Your father also visited the Senate, come to think of it. It was many years ago by now, but a notable affair due to the foreigner he brought with him, a mage, I believe. Surely. The town servant did not disclose his reasons, but he descended past our cannot, uh, cannot have and into the old Jukui quarries. Doubtless the very same one excavated by Wapolo's streamers. Then the Golden City must be there. In the depth of the sky deep sent out. Thank you, both of you. We set out straight away. You'll find a winged beast or two lingering in Rock Drag Descent. They will carry you below. I believe in you for promise. You will make a significant dawn servant. This is it, everyone. To the sky, deep, send out. Do you really mean for me to get uh, track all the way back there again? At least you could have given me the ability to fly before you make me do that. So mean. Of course, that way I could have actually finished exploring the area. Up. One last ride through this forest, I guess. Was over there. Way. I was already progressed too far, I would say. There's still really gonna be a line for the Senate. Nothing else.
So, ah, the beach is already waiting for us. Hello, birdie. And here we are. This is the center path. Senate have, which means that beyond these doors is right of satisfaction or no, disturbing the souls that rest here feels wrong. I know, but I can't turn back. Let's pay our specs at the very least. Let's go. I'm ready to complete my journey. Oh, it is actually a dungeon. Ah. I guess dungeon time it is. Just drink something really quick before we head into it now. Those are quite interesting. Oh, I could eat some bad food.
They're not so like um, this tanky as they were in like the, the last dungeon. But obviously our ninja is doing a lot of damage, so that might be a hit. What is this curse about? Ah. I should have turned away. Okay. How are you shooting out the bubbles? Oh no, are not. Yeah, we were. Uh, okay. Doesn't have it up. Sweet. I like that. And I'm a creedies. Give me. Oh, I actually got one. Oh, I'm just sorry. Oh, this is really insipidity spider eyes.
Is there any more? Yeah, okay, you should do this. Just out of wars, but um, yay. I also don't really need to heal that much since like the TDs are not doing anything stupid and we have a warrior. They are quite healer friendly. Didn't even take any damage. Nice. Mirror. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay. Okay. All's fine. Ooh. Right, he's actually turning you in fight stun. I think we're gonna be forced to separate them anyway, so...
Whee! Ah, okay, because of the teleport. Some reasons tank quite a lot as it looks like. Okay, why was he being them? This looks really cool. Except for silence. Let's go. Alright. Oh, he's not doing like a big UE for a start. Alright. Now it has. What is he doing? Ah. Throwing rocks at us. That's what he's doing. I would have it would have been a wide fist attack anyway, so
Oh, I haven't summoned for arrows. They actually don't get a lot of damage. Wasn't that bad in the end. No, they already left. Wow. No chills. Nothing special, but nice looking at the end, at least, I would say. It looks like we're more like in some kind of server by now. I thought this place was of Yokui origin. But is this glowing stone their creation as well? Nah. I doubt that. I don't believe so. I've never seen anything like it. Then it's from an even older time. Don't tell me it's the Allegans again. <laughs> While careful study would be required to confirm, it does not appear to be reminiscent of their designs. Could 
there's something on the other side. But how do we get over there? Well, that's how we do it. That's how, apparently. <laughs> Go and take a look. Is it I'm going to be having something or? It's probably Galuf's ear. How do we open it? I mean, look at this. We have seven stone tablets. Tablets might be a good fit, wouldn't you say? Is it the Golden City? Though there is some resemblance, it doesn't quite live up to what the Yokhui described from their dreams. That seems to be another gate. to the city of gold and triumphed in the reign of secession. So we did it. We made it to the end.
You seem more perplexed and joyous. It's just... This place is unlike anything we've seen in Tural. Never mind the peculiar stone. So I am given to wonder, what exactly lies beyond that gate? Nothing less than the Golden City of Legend, I assure you. A circumstance prevents us from opening the gate. Oh? As to what the city is and what call of Valdesium discovered all those years ago, This knowledge and more, I will share with you after your ascension. What you choose to do with it will be up to you. The Golden City is real. Well, I guess. Home at last. And you immediately just return to the Loyala. Of course. Well, we've done it. We've seen Muklamas to victory in the Rite of Succession. Like me, I expected to have no few questions about the Golden City, but I must wait until our claimant has settled into a new world. If this is big, she prepares for the ascension ceremony back at the palace, given to understand it will be held in a few days' time. In the meanwhile, let's all enjoy some well-deserved rest. Alright. You can now enter the scan of the uh, Yeah, okay. Okay, we've got a tumor complete. Uh, we watch on it a bit. Just one thing I want to do before. I do actually want to like fly through the area a bit. Getting like a bird's eye view of it. Also, this is yeah, this is unlocked now. Okay, then there's just only this one area down there. Or just a tree, apparently. I mean, from the top, it just looks like trees. A lot of trees. <coughs> but it looks really nice coming down into it. I really is a pretty area. Yeah. I thought some cutscenes. <laughs> Welcome back, and may I congratulate you on Buklamas' victory on the right of succession. It is our great honor to host the comrades of our future dance servant. 
Dr. Grand Journey has doubtless left you fatigued. Please relax and enjoy your stay. Sometime later. Oh, Koana. Surprised to see me. I suppose it's only natural. May I come in? Ever will be thanked to you. Did my, uh, that my sister was able to realize her potential is testament to the quality of her traveling companions, particularly you. For that, you have my heartfelt gratitude. Mm. I only did as you might have in my position. My primary business is in calling is to deliver a message from Lama T. As well now, after this ancient ceremony, she will officially take up the mantle of Dawn Servant. She has expressed a desire for you to accept the post within her administration. By uh, making no mention of me. You needn't decide immediately. My sister will approach the matter with you again after the ceremony. Whether you continue to assist Lamati or not is up to you. That is all. If you excuse me. You have become someone irreplaceable to her. As a predator, I acknowledge that with no little jealousy. But believe me when I say that I hope you will sail by her side. And thus it arrived. The day of the Dawn Servant Ascension Ceremony. What a crowd! As befits the changing of dawn servants. Mm -hmm. A lot of red. It's starting. I think this will be like be the eighth stone with like this story. is resting again. Thought he'd grace us for this occasion at least. Just as much as age. To Liolal. You honor us with your presence. For on this auspicious day, we witness the dusking of one era and the dawning of the next. The succession of dawn servants. <laughs> but I've talked for long enough. Allow me to present the claimant, whose determination, wisdom, and compassion guided them to triumph 
and the city of gold. My daughter, Wook Lamott. Huzzah! Huzzah! Long live the Dawn Servant! Long live Tuli Yolal! Growing up in this city, I used to think I knew all there was to know about Tuli Yolal. But my journey showed me how much I had yet to learn about the cultures, histories, and aspirations of this nation. To the time-honored Ichana, the Hanuhanu taught me how they nourish and cultivate both the land and their bonds with visitors. And with their alpacas and trade craft, the Pelu Pelu showed me the depths of their patience and fortitude to know when to push through and when not to push your luck. From the Moblins and their artisans, I gained insight into the power of creativity that it is when we are filled with passion and bolstered by the support of others that we produce our best works. I was moved by the history and hopes of the Yokhui, who believe that death isn't the end, that we live on so long as we remembered. I felt joy and harmony in Yaktel when I tasted Shebruk Bibil, the dish that marked the beginning of peace between the Shebral and Mamurja after centuries of warfare. And I felt sorrow in Mamuk when I met with those who placed their faith in the promise of blessed siblings and for this were burdened with great suffering. Through the understanding we forged, I'm hopeful that they will find what they seek through friendship and community, for we are all Turali. Understanding with Mamuk? What sorcery did she use on them? All of which is to say that, as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive, and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Kozamalka must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokhui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tuli Hyolol I don't know. Places I haven't seen and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you that we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, it's that your happiness is my happiness. <laughs> Was well, so that that's really true for music all of a sudden? <laughs> But the Dawn Servant doesn't need to be a single person, does it? Oh dear. What is she doing? <laughs> My 
My father led Tuli Hyolao to prosperity by the resolve and reason of his two heads. But my one head can only get us so far. To further change our nation for the better, I'll need someone else. Someone with the knowledge and insight that I lack. So what do you say? Be done servant with me, Kona. I hope for that outcome, because it was kind of the best you could have done. Flamachi, are you certain? Absolutely. You take reason, and I take resolve. Together, we make a full dawn servant. <laughs> you have no objections for me, of course. But mine is not the approval you need. During my time abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies. Some of which I introduced to our nation. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south, while locomotives traverse the land in the north. I was convinced that by imitating foreign powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet, despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside. And the very people I wished to protect. My own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress, but a shared value that binds us, connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all her peoples. My esteemed predecessor would accept nothing less. For ultimately, I harbor the same wish as my sister. To give you cause to smile. That is my heartfelt desire. Really, there's so much focus on these two. I don't even know who these two persons were. <laughs> Glad this didn't go to waste. This is the Lay of Legacy, the part of the Tuli Hyola Saga where you and I become the next Dawn Servant. Good heavens! Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know, I didn't decide this on a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer.
With this, both my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. It's been three years since my brother left us. It cannot be. The head of reason is no longer with us. Oh, tragic tidings. I didn't want to believe it. I'm sorry I never told you. We wanted a people to rest easy until our successor could be chosen. Planning the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined for it to serve the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. And then he died. Forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. <laughs> but he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. Though not quite to the original script. Your new dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent, and their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo. Wait. What a happy outcome. Really. Oh, but he was uh, pretty end up there, wasn't she? The part with the second promise was surprising, but between the two of them, I dare say only those elements will be capable of anything. The future of Toriolo is bright indeed. Earlier in Yakta. Changes in the air, and it's all because of our little firebrand. Every Ilmer father's daughter, that one. I'll be watching where you steer this nation, lass. With what time I've got left. Hmm. I expected that. Hmm. 
you don't have your Castian Roller. Lamati has truly come into her own, has she not? Indeed. Even as she moved the people with her hard fed words, she retained her charismatic sp spontaneity, as evidenced by her nomination of Kohana as fellow dancer. As sudden as it was, I would like to believe she gave it all due consideration. She could have far worse. Kohana completely completed every feat except the last, and that he only forfeited to help Buglamad secure victory. I look forward to seeing how Tuliola with Brow Spur under their care. Hello, new Dawn Servant. Everyone, thank you for coming. I could see you all perfectly from up there. That was an impressive speech, Dawn Servant. I told you, no titles. Besides, after everything we've been through together, we are nothing less than family. So, like my family does, I'd like you to call me Lamati. I already did. <laughs> I tried to pronounce it correctly. Be my honor, Lamati. It will be my honor. Thank you. It means a lot to me. It will also be my honor to call you Lamati. Mine as well. Indeed, consider us Eorzean cousins if such a notion appeals to you. Eorzean cousins. It's a little embarrassing, but not in a bad way. There's still lots I would like to say, but I need to make my rounds first. I would thank my supporters for visiting for the occasion. Could wait from here. Of course, we keep ourselves entertained. That's it. Would you mind? Would you join me, Tamamo? Wonderful. Come on, we outside the winged walk then. Wondering what the wild jar is planning now. Because I feel like it's obvious that he's the one who ordered the assassination of Cat and Ram, if not executed himself. And also, okay, I didn't want to walk that far. I was just wondering if we actually get, ever get to the north here or not. It would be nice if we actually could. Ready? Let's go. Our first stop is on Tilt's Tacos. Not just for a snack, I promise. Mukiro and Mapju should be there. Okay, my uh, escort. Alright. Ooh, there's a blue one. Why we hunt? Okay. And yeah, the NPCs do not care if you just jump from like these heights. Hmm. That's a cool outfit. Just first want to see uh, what the side crest here is for me. We're already gonna be walking there later anyway, so I'm just gonna gonna pick it up then. Don't sorry, Lamati. Words cannot well express the profound joy your ascension has brought me. No need for formalities, I'm still the same old me. Alright then, I shall forgo formalities. 
Uh, but I cannot. You're the Dawn Servant. To disrespect for it is to address you without your due title. As Dawn Servant, I'm ordering you not to buffer with formalities. <laughs> Alright then. I won't buffer anymore. <laughs> Could more easily converse with a drunken alpaca. When you fire being with Glamour, become Dawn Servant, Tamamo. Public value opinions in our community may have been divided, but the Dawn Servant's ascension presents us all with a prime opportunity. Which is why I convinced everyone to participate in a commemorative sales campaign. A wonderful plan, no? My first big undertaking as a merchant. I do like the sign of a sale, so long as I'm not persuaded to buy too much. It's good to see uh, all of you again. I wanted to personally thank each of you for your help. The Feet of Reeds and the Feet of Gold were my first true tests for a so claimant. If not for your guidance, I would have failed the right of succession before I fully understood its importance. Now they've given me a taste of celebrating culture. Can't wait to see what else Tuliola has to offer. In Jacturals, for instance. As always, you must observe proper etiquette. I would be happy to offer my service as a tutor, should you decide them. I can be on a better instructor. I'll be sure to bring Corona as well. Your dues at Dawn will be plentiful, but don't forget your promise to attend Yihana next season. Of course, I wouldn't miss it. I've made a name for myself as a merchant. I'll come by the palace and tell you all about my biggest tales. <laughs> I look forward to it. I've been personally attending to your Parker's care. There we hope to see you at my at the ranch again. Well, tell my fluffy spit filled friend that Wuklama will visit soon. Anyway, you have to excuse us. Oh, you haven't seen Fong Chantaine around here, have you? A tall slim fellow with long pointy ears. I saw a man matching the description by the weapon dealers in Bayside Baby, in company of a Moplem and a pair of Hokoi, if I remember correctly. Bayside Baby, got it. Try the festivities, everyone, and the tacos. Mm. All right. This is also actually quite a nice glam. <laughs> I like this one too, though. <laughs> it's it's a cursed pumpkin head. It's the first time I've been seeing that. Uh, Dom Servant, Tamaru, you honor us with your presence. Thank you for coming, everyone. I know the journey to Toyola isn't a short one. A uh, long road worth the travel to conquer your new Dawn Servant. To hear the head of reason has passed brings me sorrow, but he who remember him will ensure he lives on. May the accolades of this day be as offerings to the future he envisioned. The High Luminian I attended on behalf of Warlord's Echo. Had our people come en masse, you would have been an obstruction. Nonsense, you're always welcome, all of you. This is your city as much as anyone's. I'm glad to see you here in the whole town room. Though I know little of the particulars, I can only imagine your latest adventure has been both long and colorful. Beginning with near shipwreck, if you remember. Yet, here we stand, celebrating the ascension of your claimant. When my journey began, I thought only of preserving the peace that my father worked so hard to create. But the feet of pots and the feet of proof and the feet of eyes showed me that peace is no simple, sim not simply the absence of war. Being able to live together in safety and happiness, that was what my father envisioned for his nation. That is the Toriola I want for you all. So I promise you this. 
As Dawn's servant, I will do everything I can to bring that same happiness to the bandits in Kosamaruka and the Yokoi of Mishiro uh, Salto. I won't forsake them. As I was moved by your father's influence, so too may the Chiyoba will come to accept your peace. Their beliefs have stood for a millennium, they are not easily shifted, and neither are they immutable. <laughs> well, can only be uh, can be pretty determined. They'll come around eventually. Mark my words. I can vouch for the efficacy of such determination. Thanks to the Moblin's hospitality, I've been able to rediscover the joy of my graft and honor my father's legacy. <laughs> Not a good living, a secure, the village overflows with fierce smiles. Such cooperation between Hellpens and Potsworn is the very spirit of a healthy pot pact. A partnership like yours is bound to be fruitful. I look forward to seeing the fantastic pieces you produce. There are some other people I'd like to see, so we should take our leave. Let's try and find Hunmoguru. The Shibra Raj, I believe I saw him on the sands below. The Cream Sands Sand, thank you. Enjoy your time in the city and remember this will always be your home too. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, right next to the other uh, grist. My my, you are now also a personal visit, Dawn Servant. Congratulation upon your ascension. <sighs> no, no, none of that. My title may have changed, but I'm still just Glamour. What in trust, I would say, if according to the leader fit for this nation, your father must be brought. I hope so, but big events like this make me wonder, you know, what my birth parents might say if they knew. I imagine it would say it fills their hearts with joy to see the strong, compassionate woman you've become. I owe you my thanks as well for fulfilling your promise to me. I told Bakul Jaja to stay with us so we could all congratulate in prison, but he marched off, muttering something about not being able to face you just yet. The boy needs purpose. Purpose beyond catering to the demands of others. He was always too obliging for his own good. I'm sure you'll find, uh, find it in his own time, especially if he knows his family is there for him. That we are. By the way, have you seen Catamaran anywhere? Uh, Tangwa, that is. Catamaran was it? A strong name, if a bit exotic. We called upon him before leaving Mamuk, but he wasn't at home. I don't recall seeing him at the ceremony either. The first promise was notably absent as well, though I assumed he required time to sell off his injured bride. Everyone thought he would be the one to succeed Pepper. The victory he must have come as quite a shock to him. As for Tangram, I'm sure he's around here somewhere, or ready to appear when we least expect him. You best get going, but Rex, enjoy, and make yourselves at home, and come and visit us anytime. Alright, I think I found everyone I could find. Let's return to the others in the winged walk. First I'm gonna clear the one quest up. Mm 
I'm not even sure what I'm unlocking with that. Immediate Dawn Hunt Mark. But, ah, okay. I'm just getting better Dawn. Uh, Dawn Trey Hunt Marks. Builds, at least. Ah, yeah, the cool tank glam. Da -da 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 -da. The one I should have been Paladin, actually. Would I use uh, teleportation if you were not? Why? Yeah, okay, we can teleport with your escort. Alright. Sweet. Welcome back. I hope you didn't rush on our account. Well, uh, I wouldn't say so. Seen everyone you wanted to see? I have. Sorry for keeping you all. Now, there's just one last matter. What Kona spoke to you about. I'm sure he made it abundantly clear. But I'm completely serious. I want you to stay in Tulihyora with me. That will be a big no from us. I can already expect as much. I'm not forcing you, of course. But should you wish it, you always have a place here. Ah, that's right. This is for you. Also, we still have adventures to go on. Passage to Chatural, which, as I recall, you get to see. An adventurer like you could hardly resist, no? believe our journey is over already. You accepted me as a comrade and stood with me to the end. You have my eternal gratitude. Thank you. I'm actually wondering where Fangred and Rianger are. Well, I had better get going. I need to start learning all my official Dawn Servant duties. What I also wonder, what this Tinian has been up to the entire time. I'll be sure to share what my old man says about the Golden City too, once he tells me. Till then, feel free to pass the time as you like. For now, I will remain in Turas. There's someone I'd like to see before returning to Charlian. What about the rest of you? Alizé and I also intend to remain a while longer. As educational as this experience has been thus far, we feel there are even more lessons to be had for Garlemalt. By hearing about the peace your father facilitated, and then seeing you reforge relations with Mamouk, we were reminded of a profound truth. That is, acceptance begins with understanding. And, like you demonstrated throughout the rite, there are unexpected yet effective ways for two sides to understand each other. The question is how to encourage it, and by seeing more of this nation born of unity, we hope to find some hints. Personally, I can hardly wait to learn more about the City of Gold, so if I may, I'd like to stay in Tuliolal as well. By all means, your rooms are at your disposal for as long as you need them. Sweet. And what of you? Thinking of touring Shaktural, perhaps? Hmm, but that's a plan, I would say. I do want to explore more. Of course. You're hardly the type to leave half a continent unexplored. <laughs> True. 
then perhaps we could travel together? The person I intend to meet is my mentor, so I'll be visiting my hometown in Shakhtural. If you have no particular destination in mind, I'd be happy to guide you on route. Sure. Then it's farewell for now. Until Zora, Zora Jal comes you. up with something stupid. Like in stating a coup d'etat, for example. When you're ready, come and meet me at the Shakhtural Skygate. All right. We're friends to the end, you hear me? Friends to the end! Sweet. So, next destination, Jack Turrell, I guess. But definitely before we will take any look into Shaktora. This will be the end of the stream here today. But like this is a good place to for an end to this session. I'm just gonna like finish up the story quest. Past his gaze and over the bridge lies Shaktural. You have your permit, yes? Packed and ready? Not last minute stops to make before we leave? Okay, man, for a traveling of our new dancer and may have scared me for life. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the depths of the sky deep, sun out. What is all the job trying to do? This is the gate to the Golden City. 
two decades ago, your father bade me transcribe a letter to a scholar across the salt, petitioning the study of this place. What I discovered was something a dawn stone feared enough to seal away forever, and so we fought until the riot's objective became the city of gold. But the thing that Hangwa would be entrusted with its safekeeping, had I known that doddering old fool carried a set of keystones, we might have spared ourselves those tiresome feats. Great power sleeps here, and with it you shall tell you shall obtain your birthright. So you say, had the new daughter and succeeded where I could not, taking the throne would be no easy task. The resilience and underestimated his own potential. There's no need for worry. I've liberated the key from the Dawn Servant's vault. You alone have the means to unlock the gate. This looks like one of the crystals we used to seal the Astrians away. You gain all you are denied. The right, your father's shade. These bitter memories shall soon be forgotten. Seize your future, I promise. Open the gate and become the ruler you were destined to be. It's working. There's some there. Can you hear me? At last. Who's there? Show yourself. If only I could. At last, I could well open for me. Only the key in your possession can connect us. Then you're the guardian of the city's great power. I do not claim this power is great, but I know that possesses enough to really as any desire to remake worlds. Is that so? <laughs> Fascinating. Name a price then, for my desire is the world itself. Yes, yes, the resilient sun rises. Together we shall create a nation worthy of our rule. Promise why? The user's tool is cast aside. Deliver me a new world, one that bends to my will. As you wish, but in exchange. Hmm. Interesting. But, as I said, we will be trying to check that out another time. So yeah. With that being said, no one is online. Interesting. Uh, then check out the category. Uh, Japanese. Lots of Japanese YouTubers streaming it. Uh, 
So many, so many people streaming this game. Jesus. Mm, I'm gonna give it to them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, get it spot. It always takes so long to find people to raid, but hey, it's better than writing none, I would say. So yeah. So with that being said, I do hope you enjoyed watching along. I always appreciate people coming and enjoying the game alongside with me while I play through it. And if you did, support us always. Um, yeah. Or just like to see getting support or feedback for that matter. And other than that, be nice over in the raid. And we will be seeing each other next time when we'll be exploring Jacques Durand and probably stopping so I'll just blend further down the line. Whatever happens first. We'll be exploring Jack to Rod, but hey. <laughs> and then we'll see each other. And bye bye.